Right, <clears throat> let's get straight into this. Uh, David, how are you doing? Uh, I'm not doing too bad considering the hours. Mm -hmm. 134 here in the UK and for yourself. So it's like, oh my God, we're going to be here for a little bit longer still. Let's see how far we can push this. What even are words? We just don't know, Tyson. They're just a string of sounds that apparently make sense to us. Um, so let's get straight into it. Penultimate stack tonight is uh, going to be Lingo Maniac's stack. So thank you very much, Lingo Maniac, who featured earlier as a contestant. Uh, but now we are featuring their stack of 50 so let's load that up right now stack number nine categories are a pot look of gold something sounds fishy um save the animals or kill the animals oh hang on we've got a speed running <laughs> sort of theme going on here gaming lexicon made in italy boy bands and then we have 2d planes fitness training and automobiles, another little thing there as well across categories. Um, so that's what you got to pick from uh, DVD Smith. Anything tickle your fancy? Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, save the animals and kill the animals is a reference I actually get. So um, uh, I'll start with gaming lexicon. Why not? Start off with the gaming lexicon. Well, know how to pick them. We're going to start off with a battle. So please step up to the podium. The following player. <coughs> My Terrader. Hello there, My. You have been picked by the game to play in some gaming lexicon action. Please find your way to the green room. And we'll get you into this lobby. Oh, lovely. The Coke is spilling everywhere. That's not what we like to see. Um, well, I'm off screen right now, so um, that's that's at least slightly handy that it's not happened while on stream. Mm -mm -mm. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Spill cola. That's exactly what we like. Um, just going to wait for my to get all sound checked in the green room. And then we'll be on our way here on our first 50. <coughs> Just waiting for that to happen. Oh my goodness, there's a lot of spill actually that happened that time around. Uh, ah, it happened again. <laughs> Hello there, Mai. How are you doing? Both times on 500 questions where the moment I join the lobby, I get selected. <laughs> <laughs> well, and it is... Doing on a topic I have no clue about. <laughs> well, come on. You you get involved over there on the Chase VGM with, with games and that. So maybe this is something to do with games over here. I don't think you caught the memo. I'm one of their worst players. <laughs> uh, hands up here as well, to be honest. Um, anyway, yeah. we'll see how well you do here, Mai. We wish you good luck. Uh, the DVD Smith is the one to pick who goes first here. So, David, lead or follow? I will follow. You will follow. Okay, so Mai, you're going in first here on this question. With Link... Name the 24 other standard, Echo, and Variant fighters in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate that are also valid English Scrabble words. Of all the fighters in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, including Echo fighters and variants of fighters under the same name, for example, Olimar and Elf, 25 of them are valid Scrabble words according to the 2019 Collins Scrabble word list going by their English names. One of the ones we're giving for free is Link. You need to name the other 24. Further note, we are looking for any fighter whose English name is a single valid word. For example, Ice Climbers, that is the name of one of the characters or group of characters, that is not valid because it is more than one word. So only single valid words, please, not link. And so long as it is a character in Super Smash Brothers Ultimate and also a valid English Scrabble word. Good luck to you both. Mai, you're going first. Five seconds. Okay, Pit. Pit, yes. Load. Yes. Oh, um... <laughs> you don't survive. <laughs> that, uh, oh that god, I can't think of one. 
afraid we have to time you out there. Yeah. Honestly, you I went think... for a quite an obscure one to start with, with Pit, I'll, I'll be honest. Um, That's the only one I can think of. Hey, it works for you, but unfortunately you couldn't think of anything else to follow <laughs> up. Uh, David, anything else come to mind? Uh, I mean, where do I start? Okay, let's think. Uh, Fox, Wolf, yes. Peach, yes. Daisy, yes. Uh, Sonic, yes. Um, yes. Uh, Snake, uh, yeah. uh, Robin. Um, there's uh, yes. who else is there? Uh, would Ness be one? Probably not. Yes, it is. Uh, oh, okay. Um, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a headland or a cape. Is a Ness? Uh, Kirby. Kirby. Uh, yes. What about what about the DLC characters? Um, Joker. Uh, Joker. Yes. Hero. Hero. Um, yes. And then, um, oh, I'm struggling now. Uh, mm. uh, Inkling, uh, possibly. Inkling, um, yes. Oh my uh, god, yeah. Uh, and then, um, I might be, I might have to tap out there. Oh well, that is actually a really phenomenal performance there from yourself. Honestly, yeah. some really good answers up there. I absolutely loved how Twitch chat completely lost their mind that there are even twenty-four possibles that meet the criteria of both a, a name of a character and a valid English Scrabble word. To be honest, when we proofed it, it was also the same case that we just lost our mind that that was such a case. So the just amazing question. to 24. find to find this information out let's find out the full list of answers you could have said bowser that's a valid word daisy <laughs> fox hero inkling joker ken kirby ness peach pit ken. richter ridley also there robin Ryu is up there sheik <laughs> uh, snake sonic sora terry villager wolf and zombie yes richter oh, is up there as a variant of Richt, which is a Scots variant of right. So that is there as a valid I, I write, word. I write. <laughs> exactly. The, the amount of shock I'm expressing right now is something I could not um, express on a PG-13 stream, so I'm not going to say anything. <laughs> and yes, Sora up there as well for people in chat. Uh, Sora, in this case, is a North American rail with a yellow bill. Basically, a type of bird is a Sora. It soars. I guess it got the name and just got yeah. the letters the wrong way around. Um, anyway, I, else? I'd now I'd just like to apologise um, <laughs> for putting up such a weak performance there that you couldn't show that off in a more I, epic form. That was, <laughs> that was kind of unfortunate because I'm a huge Smash Brothers fan and actually I've just uh, ordered like a big um, framed banner of the, you know, the Smash Brothers banner that's got all the characters oh, on yeah, it. Yeah. Sitting, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, I, I wasn't looking at it, I promise, but it is sitting right behind me right now. It's about five feet wide and waiting to be hung on my wall. Oh, goodness so, me. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> yeah <laughs> kind of a perfect what, what category. Know is, why couldn't it have been name 10 Tetris openers? That would have been nice. <laughs> <laughs> well, unfortunately, not in this case, Mike. We have to say goodbye to you, but uh, I hope you had a lot of fun here. Yeah, after that embarrassment, I will see myself now. <laughs> <laughs> no, not embarrassment at all. It's a very difficult question. If you Certainly, if you're not familiar with Smash Bros, that would be an absolute crapshoot. Um, but uh, thank you very much for playing, Mike, and we'll see you later. Take care. Thank you, and goodbye. Bye. So, DVD Smith, David, doing very well in that, and also demonstrating a good breadth of knowledge on uh, Smash characters, which obviously, you know, we keep coming to every now and then in these 500 question streams. Um, but for now, we say goodbye to it until it appears in the next 500 question stream. No, I'm not promising that at all. Uh, let's keep going. Next question. What do you want to go for here, David? Okay, well, since we've got a bit of a buffer zone now, uh, I'll go for what I think will be my weakest category and say made in Italy. Made in Italy. Here's your question. With types such as the Mega and Leonardo, which series of microcontroller kits are in indirectly named after an 11th century Italian king? 10 seconds. Oh, I've never heard of this. Uh, 11th century Italian king. I mean, it's Raspberry Pi. <laughs> um, uh, Italian king. Uh, Federico um, uh, Luciano, I don't know. Get a sort of kind of Raspberry Pi, but not that. The one we were looking for. It's an Arduino. Never heard of it. So, yeah. I've never heard of it. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah it's, it's a very similar sort of platform. I think probably Arduino predates when Raspberry Pi became a thing. And Raspberry Pi sort of then uh, popularized the whole idea of uh, these sort of microcontroller kit systems. Yeah. Um, 
so yeah arduino the answer we're looking for there ding i just heard there on the system who just sent me a donation let's find out oh sorry i sent a donation over to mine should i say dogfish dogfish with a 50 pound and 28 pence donation that is a what whiskers what are you doing right now um 50 pound and 28 pence donation there from dogfish um author of that previous pack that you were playing there um no further comments but is claiming one of the dual poker chip sets thank you very much dogfish for that amazing donation appreciate that giving us uh, getting us up to a nice round three thousand three hundred and forty pounds now on the total um so we are just 660 away if my math is right from the four thousand pound mark can we get there by the end of our 500 questions well we've just done a couple questions we've got 98 left to go i think it could be possible if you can donate there is the information there tidyurl.com slash 500 qs donate scan the qr code or say exclamation mark donate in chat um let's see if we can get it to four thousand pounds anyway david was a wrong answer there for arduino we need to write that wrong where do we want to go uh back to gaming lexicon please Game lexicon it is. Question is, first appearing in Yoshi's Island, the character Ukiki derives its name from the noise made by what animal in Japanese? Ten seconds. Monkey. It is a monkey, uh, yes. Yeah, because uh, Kiki also shows up in uh, Link's Awakening uh, as it's a monkey in that, so yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, it's just very sort of, in a way, on the matter peak of the way they say the Japanese does that a lot, to be honest. Mm -hmm. um, write that wrong, add a thousand to the board, nicely done, and let's keep going. Where next? Uh, boy bands, please. Uh, boy bands. Question is this. In 2015, Victoria Corrin Mitchell <laughs> corpsed when contestants on Only Connect. Ah, oh, of course, you're here at an Only Connect alum. Failed to recognise Malik, Tomlinson, Horan, and Payne as what? 10 seconds. The members of One Direction. Perfect answer. Thank you very it's, much for it's that. It's a classic clip, yeah. Do you happen to know the team in question? Uh, no, I don't know. I don't have that kind of knowledge. <laughs> Shapes in chat. I... I know you're an alum and you probably know the answer. Uh... Do you know the name? If you're still around, or you may have gone to bed already, but I don't know. I might, I might be playing them in the Only Connect Online Quiz League. Who knows? Oh, mm -hmm. the, oh the, 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 the else thing. Uh, the Bibliophiles is correct, Shapes. Absolutely. Oh, uh, members of One Direction, though, with the correct answer we're looking for, the actual question. It's an absolutely wonderful moment. So bless Vicky for doing that. Mm -hmm. Um and uh, if you've never seen that uh, do look up the clip it's just it's, it's it's such a lovely lovely sort of wholesome moment in the quiz um it's it's not taking a mick of them it's just because they're just demonstrating such a breadth of knowledge uh, and just not knowing about some some pop culture band type thing you know it's just it's just one of those things anyway we've got this random quiz to deal with instead uh where next uh, david uh kill the animals Oh, we're killing the animals first. All right, then. Your first question in kill the animals. What colourful term is used to describe a piece of meat that is cooked at a rarer temperature than rare? Ten seconds. Is it bleeding? Uh, is it a, a bloody um, uh, f fresh? Uh, um, uh, alive? I don't know. <laughs> no. It is basically alive, but yeah, you just sort of show it the grill and then that's it done. No, the answer we're looking for, colourful term, it's blue. Blue. Is oh, the term I have there. heard that. Yeah, yeah sorry. You get, uh, you get blue, like then that. rare, and then medium rare, medium, and then no, just don't go any further than that. That's a stupid idea. Um, blue, the answer we're looking for though on that one. One wrong on the board. Let's write that wrong. Where do we want to do? What do we? Uh, where, where do we want to do? That's a weird question. What do we want <laughs> to do? Um, boy bands. Going back to boy bands. Unfortunately, this is not to do with Only Connect this time. Uh, question is, in 2006, People magazine ran a front page article where which member of NSYNC came out of the closet? 10 seconds. Lance Bass. He's correct, nicely done. Now I've got a funny question, and I don't know if the moderators want to run it as a poll or not, as a sort of Mandela effect type question. But uh, when we were approving this last night, we did the dry run, 
For some reason, a load of us thought that the asterisk in NSYNC is supposed to go between N and S. I was one of those that thought it's supposed to go there. But no, it goes before the N. And I'm just wondering yeah. how many others out there think that it should have been be between the N and the S or those that should be, believe it's before the N. It's, so, it's one of those weird Mandela effects, I think. It's just a crazy thing. I, I know this because um, in uh, iTunes, I had to tell it where to put uh, it, where to sort it alphabetically, because if you put the asterisk at the beginning, it screws it up. Mm. So, um, so yeah, I had to tell it no, sort it as N because it comes at the beginning. Yeah. Well, I'm just uh, someone has put a poll up. Thank you very much for providing the poll there. I'm just very curious to see what people would have thought as the answer there, um, or certainly where they thought the asterisk was just really gone. Um, that's for my personal curiosity, honestly. I had a thousand to the bank there. 14 questions seen so far, a thousand in the bank. And we move on to another question. Where next? Uh, let's go for the pot luck of gold. The pot luck I don't know what gold. accent that was, but yeah. It, it was a halfway between a lot of them. Let's, let's put it there. <laughs> uh, your first question in that category then. The Olympic gold medals at the 20th, 2022 Beijing Winter Olympics are mostly made of what metal? 10 seconds. Uh, nickel, iron, copper, um, uh, gold, uh, uh, cobalt, um, uh, steel. Uh, oh, wow. Oh, he missed the one adjacent to gold. Silver. Yeah, they are yeah. indeed. They are required to be at least 92.5% silver in content, according to IOC regulations. Yeah, some, somehow, somehow I knew that, and yet for some reason I thought in the back of my mind that they did something special for Beijing, so I just didn't trust round, my own instincts. just round the houses on that one. Yeah. Um, whoa, let's have a look at that poll there. So actually, yeah, the majority of the, of this audience here that voted in that poll did did think that the asterisk was between the N and the S. 35% believed it was before the N. And then there are a couple of people, three of them say, what bloody asterisk? There wasn't an asterisk. <laughs> yeah, some people suggesting it's uh, just a, like an apostrophe symbol or something else entirely different to an asterisk. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm just, I was just very curious on the um, on the thoughts there, and and it would seem I am not alone, and we and some of the proofers were not alone in believing that the asterisk goes where it was, but it doesn't. We now know it goes before the end. So we need to write the wrong caused by the lack of silver. So where do we want to go, David? Uh, let's go save the animals. Save the animals question there is which u.s actress and american humane supporter would have celebrated her 100th birthday on the 17th of january 2022 10 seconds the legendary betty white absolutely heart goes out there to betty white wherever she may be right now and we write that wrong add a thousand to that board and a hundred bits there from jb what Henry did the well. silver cheerleaders chant be aggressive, be be aggressive. Be be aggressive, A G aggressive. Very clever there, JB. Thank you for the hundred bits there. Um, so yes, go arrest her there, Betty White, a wonderful legend. We will all miss you. Moving on, next question, next category. Where are we going, David? Uh, let's try automobiles. Automobiles. Question there is, what was the name of the first car released by Tesla Motors in 2008? 10 seconds. Was it the Model X? Uh, or was it the, um, he loved his Xs. Uh, the Tesla, um, Tesla Q, Tesla Y, Tesla, uh, Nikola. Uh, no. I liked some of the answers you're coming up with there, but no, none of those answers coming up. Not the Model S either, Nasa, no. Uh, Oni's got it though. It is the Roadster. Roadster was the first one okay. that he released uh, back in 2008. Uh, hello, Whiskers. Yes, I can hear you meowing. Hi. Hi. You've had your food. You've been treated. Had your food. You've been treated. I know that I have not been giving you attention because I have been streaming for 14 and nearly and a half hours on top of that. Um, I will give you the pets and everything later, okay? Okay? I appreciate you. I know. I know. I do appreciate you, Whiskers. Let's keep going on, David. Where next? Uh, potluck of gold. 
pot like a gold. Let's see if we get a better one this time round. Rich 1951 Disney animated film features the song All in the Golden Afternoon. Ten seconds. Uh, Cinderella, Peter Pan, um, uh, Lady and the Tramp, uh, uh, um, uh, Alice in Wonderland. Yes! Just in the nick of time there! Alice uh, in Wonderland, the correct answer. Well done. There was a, there was a question on um, the Trivia Warfare podcast recently about um, name the five Disney films that came out in the uh, 1950s because they're all like all time classics. And I was trying to remember which one it was because it was Peter Pan, Lady and the Tramp, Cinderella, All Time, uh, and uh, Alice in Wonderland. And then I think what was the last one? Uh, Sleeping Beauty, I think, was the other one. So yeah. Some great answers there. Coming in clutch there with 0.11 left on the clock. <laughs> Let's keep going then. Next category. Uh, fitness training. Uh, fitness training. First one in that category. Whiskers, please. I know it's hard. I really do know it is hard, Whiskers. And I know the treats are right there for you. And I know these chicken rescuers are also right here for you. But it's not for you. Please. I will come to your attention later. Fitness training. We're going to you on this category here the question is on the 4th of july 2021 louis portella set a world record by performing 4754 of what alliterative exercise in an hour 10 seconds tongue twisters uh um alliterative exercise um uh uh burpees uh um jumping jacks yes uh, yes jumping jacks just getting here oh. in the nick of time wow 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 well oh. done with that answer. Literally buzzer beater, clutch by clutch. My God. Yeah, absolutely perfect answer on that, finally. Um, not the first bounce, so no extra bonus to your bank balance, but we keep ourselves strikeless after 19 questions, which is still a good performance here. Let's keep it rolling here, David. You're doing well. Uh, okay, 2D planes. Going to the 2D planes question there in geometry what n describes a vector that is perpendicular to a surface as a given point 10 seconds uh n1 n equals 2 n equals 0 uh <laughs> n squared n cubed um n4 n5 n6 uh oh no sorry it's it's um a node this probably is out of time but uh... it is a word answer we're looking for rather yeah, than a sort of algebraic the word we were looking for it is a normal to the yeah, surface yeah. we're looking for oh, there knew that. Ah. Uh, mental block don't worry it's only one question it's only one strike on the board right now we can easily clear that from our memory uh where do we want to go to try and write that wrong um boy bands Going back to boy bands, currently have a 100% record so far. Your next question in that category is, which Australian band's drummer, Ashton Irwin, once told Billboard magazine, we don't want to be called the next One Direction. 10 seconds. Is that five seconds of summer? Perfect answer, yes. Yes, the full quote is, we're not a boy band, we're a band. We don't want to be called the next One Direction direction that's just not us i think they were in a question at lunchtime because i remember people making the joke about in the uk five seconds of summer is more accurate <laughs> yeah it really is i think it was uh, dan peak making that joke in the chat if i remember right oh well Shout yeah. out to dan coming uh coming in help there thank you very much for that uh, little bit there dan uh right in the wrong adding another thousand to the bank up to ten thousand now in your bank and going on stronger and stronger next category pick please let's complete the wall of red down that right column let's go for sounds fishy something sounds fishy here let's see if it's a red or something slightly like different i mean if it is a red then it's basically red herrings we're leading up to here over on ben's side uh but let's find out the question is according to leviticus chapter 11 a fish must have fins and what other feature in order for it to be considered kosher 10 seconds uh gills um uh a tail um scales yes scales uh, that's the one we're looking for there correct answer not on the first bounce so we keep the balance at ten let let's keep it going and you have ruined that pattern there obviously with, with the correct <laughs> answer but we we don't care about any patterns we want to keep you in the game that's what really matters so uh, where do you want to go next let's kill the animals again gonna kill the animals again in a battle so let's bring someone in to face you in a battle against the animals. 
Oh no, it's an animal himself. Tipster! <laughs> We're going to have to do some penguin brutality, potentially. Oh, no. Everything is not fine. Everything is definitely not fine. My favourite metal uh, band, Penguin Brutality. <laughs> I'm just having a quick sip of my cooler-based beverage before Tipster makes their way here. Of course, indeed, Tipster. is. Of course you would be here on Kill the Animals. Hello. How you doing? I'm I'm nervous. You are I'm, very nervous because well, I mean you are a risk here as an animal yourself. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Uh I've also noticed that uh Waddles has joined us in the audience tonight, which I was not expecting. Oh really? Oh cool. Hello there, Waddles. How you doing? How you doing in chat there? Good to see you as well. Make a visit from the Pinnacle Larder. Um Tipster. It is uh, battle time here against David. Oh, my goodness. This is going to be a bit of a uh, strong battle, I would say. Uh, and, uh, yeah, killing the animals. So, David, you have control here. Would you like to lead or follow into this battle? It hasn't oh, let me... the trend. <laughs> oh, but it hasn't let me down yet. All right, fine. I'll go first. I'll lead. Really? You're going to lead? I'll lead. <laughs> oh, well, booking the trend indeed. So... David, you are playing first on this question. According to a YouTube tutorial, name the 12 ingredients used in Gordon Ramsay's Christmas twist on Beef Wellington. We are looking for any ingredients that Gordon calls out by name and uses during the preparation process. Any elements of the dish that are pre-prepared beforehand, though, are not on the list. David, you are answering first. Five seconds. Uh, gravy. Throw me for a loop there, I'm afraid. Oh. Not in the construction of a beef wellington, I'm afraid. It might come as an accompaniment alongside the wellington, but not the wellington itself, I'm afraid. Otherwise, it would be a rather a soggy affair, I might say. Um, that is a wrong answer, we've got to say. Completely wrong. Um, Tipster, do you have any thoughts towards any potential answers? I mean, beef? Pastry? Yeah, beef and pastry are literally the first sort of two to go for there. Yes, indeed. I, I was I was wondering, but I was thinking, is he going to have swapped out the beef for turkey if it's a Christmas twist? So I was... Uh, probably going a bit too deep. No, I, I, I believe... Gordon is one of those, when it comes to beef wellingtons, it's a proper beef wellington. Uh, the only time where it's a bit of a Christmas twist on it is actually uh, in some of the extra things on top. Uh, it, it's thyme is basically the extra thing on top that's different. There's wine on there as well. Uh, but the, the ingredients are beef, chestnuts, egg, garlic, mushrooms, mustard, olive oil, parma ham, pepper, puff pastry, salt, and thyme. That's literally it. It's ah, as right. as that. Uh, you could have also said uh, beef fillet or tenderloin or eye fillet for just beef. Uh, English mustard, if you want to be specific of that. Uh, chestnut mushrooms, if you want to be specific there. Uh, you could have also said prosciutto or even just ham we would have accepted, although I'm sure if I were to say that in Gordon Ramsay's presence, then that would be absolutely sacrilege, just saying ham. Uh, and then egg yolk or egg wash could also be accepted for just egg. So Food, food, food and drink is always my weakest, yeah. Uh, well, it is a wrong on the board for you, David, uh, but we continue on, and Tipster, you get to sit back here for a little bit. Uh, we may be asking of your opinion in a moment if we get another wrong on the board, uh, but for now, just sit tight. And we continue on with David in control with one strike of the board that we need to get rid of. Where next, David? Um, save the animals. Gonna try and resurrect this with a save of the animals. Question is, the World Wild Fund for Nature, also known as the World Wildlife Fund, was founded in 1961 in which European country? 10 seconds. Uh, France, Switzerland, Germany. Uh... Again, yeah, just spam the European countries in that general area and uh, you get there, indeed, Switzerland, the answer. Uh, writing that wrong, not any extra total because it was not the first bounce answer. But, uh, hey, writing the wrong, I think, is the uh, the critical part there. And we keep on in play after 24 questions. Doing pretty well here. 
Um, how are we doing, David? How are you feeling right now? Uh, not too bad, considering it's two a.m. <laughs> <laughs> let's uh, let's let's keep it going. I, I'm on yeah. a roll. Absolutely, We're on a roll of one. <laughs> uh, made in Italy. Made in Italy. Question there is: Originating in ancient Rome, what unit of length is derived from a Latin phrase meaning one thousand paces? Ten seconds. Um. Oh. Uh. Furlong. Uh. uh Latin. Um. Uh, Meter, kilometer. Uh, uh, oh, they've all gone out of my head. Uh, wrong there. Rods and perches and. Tipster, any oh. ideas? Mile? Is it, it meal? Yeah, there's the idea. Oh it comes my god, from it was so much simpler than I thought. Thousand in there, mile, meal in a weird way. Yeah, yeah. What we're looking I got for. as far as the M and then panicked. Oh, lucky there. Uh, so there's another strike back on the board again that we'll need to get rid of. I've just heard another ding, in fact, on the, the donation board. As well. so what's, a, what's, an, what's in a beef Wellington? Beef. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's two o'clock in the morning, guys. I mean, you uh, let me talk you into it. Let's get there. <laughs> <laughs> just one moment while I just quickly check the donations because I did hear a little ding occur. Uh, there was a JB donation of four. Uh, pounds and 55 that says hydrate and then I'll go make a coffee. I did do the hydrate but I'll hydrate again right now Thank you very much for that hydrate and shapes with a 25 pound donation there and they're saying, I can't remember what life was uh, from before the start of this stream is now was. Uh, thanks to all organizers, writers, proofers, and of course, Ash. A privilege to be able to provide a few questions and to answer uh, somewhat fewer, he says. Thank you very much for the £25 donation. And there is, uh, that's everything to say on that donation. Thank you very much for the generous £25 donation there, Shapes. Our total is now at 3369 and 55 pence. We're getting ever so close now to that 4,000 mark. Can we get there by the end of the stream? Come on, I think we can do it. Um, are we going to raise some money for save the animals and kill the animals? I suppose we could do that, couldn't we? we could, you know what? Sure, let's do that. I can do that kind of thing. I'm not GDQ, but I'm going to rip them off instead. Uh, I've got a poll that I could create. Um, Save or kill. I mean, it doesn't even matter uh, because we can't do any either, but sure. Um, we're going to give you some poll options if you really want to. Save or kill. Then there you go. There is now a redemption poll that you can contribute your donations to, whether you want to save or kill the animals. Good luck. I, I, I quite like that um, save the animals is in white and kill the animals is in blood red. I might deliberately get three wrong answers on kill the animals just to keep the, <laughs> keep the bloodshed coming. There really is some weird kind of uh, yeah association going on here. Uh, anyway, we need to continue on here. One strike on the board. Let's get rid of it, David. Where next? All right. Well, since we've been talking about it, let's go back to gaming lexicon. Gaming lexicon. Question there is, the Zelda enemy Skull Tula is, the, is an example of what form of wordplay in which two words are fused together? 10 seconds. Portmanteau. A portmanteau indeed. Or a poor man's toe. It's like a weird thing there I made up last night, which was not a particularly good joke. So I don't know why I regurgitated it now. Uh, write that wrong. When you, when you mean last night, do you mean the night before? Oh, it's God, no it Sunday. really is the night before now, isn't it? Goodness me, Jesus Christ. Uh, yeah, you're right. It is the night before. <laughs> time. Time is hard. Uh, 11,000 in the bank. 26 questions you have seen so far, David, and still going strong. Where next? Fitness training. Uh, fitness training is a top 10 challenge. Now, we do have Tipster on the sideline here. What do you want to do, David? Do you want to take the question yourself, or do you want Tipster to take the question? Uh, let's have, let's let Tipster have a go. Oh, oh no. Tipster, step up then. You need to give me the correct answers here. Five correct answers in 15 seconds. If you do that, then you can keep yourself there on the sideline, and David will get a strike. If you fail to get it, then we do say goodbye. Are you ready? As ready as a penguin can ever be when presented with fitness. Good luck, Tipster. Here comes your question. Name five of the ten events in a standard men's outdoor decathlon. The full typical name of the event is required. 15 seconds. 
uh, 110 meter hurdles, um, javelin, long jump, discus, triple jump, uh, 1500 meters, 800 meters. You got it right there. Well yes, done. Indeed. Very good. Very good answers Ooh. there. Triple jump was not on the list, just out of uh, the curiosity there. But uh, everything else you said, absolutely perfect. And the other answers you could have given the 100 meters, the uh, shot put, the high jump, the 400 meters, and finally, the pole vaults. So Those are the other five that we didn't reach there as an answer. But uh, very... I'm, always... Go on. I'm always impressed by the 110 meter hurdles because that's really high. <laughs> yeah, yeah they're, they're, they're really, really high, aren't they? Yeah, up there, yeah. 110 meters. Um, but yeah, great knowledge there, tips. It keeps you in the game and also earns David a strike on the board. So, need to write that wrong there that you earned there, David. Where are we going mm -hmm. to do that? Uh, pot luck of gold, please. Going back to the gold question. What song by Goldfinger appears on the soundtrack of the original Tony Hawk's Pro Skater game? 10 seconds. Superman. Superman's correct. Although, personally, I prefer Spokesman from Tony Hawk's 4, but yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. We write the wrong, add another thousand to the total, 12,000 now in the bank. Let's keep going. We have hit question 420, blaze it. Um, where next, David? Uh, 2D planes. 2D planes is a triple threat. So three correct answers required to complete the question. If you can do three thousand extra pad pounds, three three thousand extra dollars in your fake bank. Let's see your question on 2D planes. Other than circle, name the other three non-degenerate conic sections, shapes formed by the intersection of a cone and a plane. Ten seconds. Uh, ellipse, um, uh, rhombus, rectangle, uh, <laughs> um, uh, no, it's gone. Out of time there. You did get the ellipse, yes, that's one of the three cases. And the other two are types of curve, I will say that. Um, but uh, the specific curves are, Chris has got one of them with parabola. The last one is a hyperbola as well on top of that. Okay. Um, so ellipse, hyperbola and parabola were the three other types of conic sections that you can make from the inter intersection of a cone and a plane. I have to say, I was expecting a lot more aviation and less geometry from that, from that, uh, <laughs> that category. <laughs> uh well i guess that's the 2d part of it because generally yeah. you know when planes take off is at least a third dimension they take off into generally anyway yeah. you like <laughs> hope you, you want you know? generally hope unless so that you know there could be flat depends landers. if it depends if it's a paper plane yeah i suppose yeah that yeah that is a 2d plane just folding in a weird way see it, we're, we're getting into folding which is a whole other thing um let's keep going you want one strike back on the board we need to write that wrong david where okay, uh, boy, boy bands. Going back to the boy bands, we currently have 100% success rate there. Question is, which band is considered to be the best-selling boy band of all time, having sold over 100 million records worldwide since 1993? 10 seconds. Uh, New Kids on the Block, uh, Backstreet Boys, uh, take that. Great second guess there. Backstreet Boys is correct. Doing exactly what you needed to do, needed to do to write that wrong, and you have thirty questions now that you have completed. There, that's a really good performance so far from you, David. Um, one of the better ones we've had this entire stream, in fact. Uh, okay. Let's keep going and see how far you can go. Maybe you can make it uh, the second best that we've had this stream. Uh, let's go for uh, phones that operate themselves, automobiles. Automobiles. Let's see the question on that. Not moving far from where it was founded, in which US state would you find the headquarters of the Ford Motor Company? 10 seconds. Michigan. Great answer, yes. Wonderfully, I have a link here that takes me directly to that location on google.com forward slash maps, and it has all the extra, extra stupid data tags on it. I'm not gonna go there. Let's keep going. A thousand extra in the bank and uh, plodding along nicely. Uh, let's just do another automobiles then. Another mobiles of the auto variety. It's another battle. Oh. Tipster, stepping forward here into the automobiles category. How do you how do you feel about um, vehicular type activity, Tipster? Uh, I mean, listen, my flippers can't reach the wheel. My feet can't reach the pedals. I feel like I'm somewhat out of my depth here. Well, not with that attitude. 
Fair. <laughs> Let's see how well you'll do then in this battle coming up. Let's dim the lights. And David, you have the right to pick. Would you like to lead or follow? The only time I've led, I've failed, so let's follow. You'll follow, okay. So, Tipster, you are going first this time on this question. Name the 12 motor vehicles and parts companies that feature in the top 100 of Fortune 2021's Global 500. We are looking for any company on the list under that section, that is motor vehicles and parts, who is in the top 100. Tipsy, you're going first. Five seconds. Ford. Yes. Uh, Goodyear. Ooh, good guess. Ah, oh. sadly not on the list, I'm afraid, though. But yeah, a very good guess going with Goodyear, but um, not on this top 100 of the Fortune 500, I'm afraid. So it is a wrong that we have to put on the board back again. And Tipster, you've won another battle, which means you get, you've get you earned the right to stay where you are for just a little bit longer. Um, do you have any other ideas of answers there, Tipster? Just out of curiosity. Uh, GM, General Motors. Yeah, General Motors is there, yeah. Volkswagen? Volkswagen is there, yeah. Toyota? Toyota, yes. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, Lego make a lot of cars. I, I mean, it's a good call to go that way. Unfortunately, it, no. They're, they're, uh, the, they're the world's... Uh, they make the most tires out of every company in the world. Yeah, it is that wonderful little factoid there, isn't there? Yeah, indeed. Uh, but yeah, unfortunately, not on the, uh, the this list of uh, Fortune uh, 500 uh, list, unfortunately. Uh, let's have a look at the other answers. We had Toyota, Volkswagen, Mercedes-Benz, or Daimler, uh, Honda, General Motors, BMW, Seik. There's also FAW Group, Hyundai, Dongfeng, and Bosch. They make a lot of motor parts, not necessarily vehicles, but certainly a lot of motor parts. And that is why they're in that the list brand. there. Oh, well, let's uh, move on. We can write that wrong very easily, I'm sure, David. Where are we going to do that? Uh, save the animals. We're going to save the animals. Question there. Which conservationist did RSPCA Queensland CEO Mark Townend describe in 2006 as a modern day Noah? 10 seconds. Steve Irwin. Great answer, yes. Uh, yeah, Mark Townend said this shortly after Steve Irwin unfortunately died. Uh, write that wrong. Another thousand added to your total 14,000 after seeing 33 questions really going on strong here and you're doing really the sort of the, the the perfect average game of get one right and then follow it with one wrong if you can keep doing that through the entire game you can complete 500 questions so <laughs> a perfectly right. average game that so that's absolutely fine uh where do you want to go next uh sounds fishy sales fishy question there what species of fish is dory from finding nemo 10 seconds oh is she uh she's is she a flounder is she uh um uh she's not a clownfish that's nemo um she is a uh no out of time there tipster do you happen to know uh it's a tang isn't it uh that on its own i don't know if i would be able to say just a tang but uh, certainly a blue tang is the answer there yes can also accept a blue hippo tang or royal blue tang or regal tang or blue surgeon fish, or regal surgeon fish, or pallet surgeon fish. Any of those options. Or, of course, you can go with the scientific name, uh, Paracanthrus hippatus as well. Is, it, is, it, is, well. Is, a, is a blue tang a tang that's cooked slightly less thoroughly than rare? <laughs> I guess so. I suppose you could say that is a... Uh, we're getting out of that category right now. Uh, let's, <laughs> let's, 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 let's write that wrong, because that was... That was, a, that was a, yeah... A, a <laughs> anyway uh where are we going david <laughs> uh potluck of gold potluck of gold a triple threat in front of you oh, right okay. now three correct answers required in 10 seconds to three write in that 10. wrong absolutely uh if you can do three thousand added to your bank the question here is list three first names of the title characters in the golden girls tv sitcom other than rose 10 seconds Oh, it was uh, Blanche, uh, Cynthia, uh, Beryl, Meryl, uh, <laughs> Agnes, Isa. Uh, uh, no. I... 
You got Blanche and you are so close with the S's there, I must say. Uh, but not quite hitting the nail on the head. Means we are now in danger territory. Two strikes now in a row. We do not want to make it three in a row. Otherwise, you are. And we don't want that to happen. The other answers there were Dorothy and Sophia. The other ones to look forward there. Uh, Blunt, Dorothy and Sophia. I talked to Betty White. And of course, again, a big shout out to Betty White there as Rose. So... We are in the precarious situation. Two strikes on the board. Tipster, we come to you to make the decision now as to the next category that David will face. But of course, beware, there are still some specials out there, so you may be called to play a battle. So, which category are you going to pick here? Oh, heck, I don't want to make the same mistake again, do I? Um, let's go with Made in Italy, please. Made in Italy. Here's a regular question. So, David... You need to answer this correctly to stay in the game. The question is, which Italian engineer shared the 1909 Nobel Prize with Carl Ferdinand, Ferdinand Braun for the development of wireless telegraphy? 10 seconds. Marconi. Exactly what the doctor ordered there. Guglielmo Marconi is the full answer. Marconi, absolutely just fine on its own. We write those wrongs. We had 1,000 to your total 15,000 now in your bank. Zero strikes on the board. 36 and breathe. Questions. And breathe, exactly. There's a little bit of a sigh of relief after that question there. Nicely done. Uh, Tipset can still stay there for a little while longer. Uh, was that your second category pick now, Tipster? Uh, I think. Uh, in this run, yes. Yeah, I think so. So on the third category pick, uh, if we get to that point, then that at that point is when we then dismiss you uh, on a forcible uh, nature. Oh, so, oh, sorry. I, this time in the chair, that was my first. Oh, oh, so I picked in, one uh, earlier in the oh, run. Oh, you picked one earlier in the run. Right, okay. So that was your first two-strike situation. Okay, right. I was so trying you, to think what the other yeah, one was. You, say, you do have two more then in that case. I just, just want to make sure everything was right. Okay, so that was your first one of three. Okay. Uh, David, then we come back to you. Pick category. Fitness training. Uh, fitness training. Question. Correctly written with a dot over it, what does the V in VO2 Max stand for? Ten seconds. Uh, variable, um, uh, 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 the vanadium. Um, uh, <laughs> uh, no. If in doubt, throw a bit of periodic table in there. Uh, unfortunately, not in this case. Uh, we have to put a strike back on the board. Anyone in the chat? Viscosity? No, it's not viscosity, Chris. Is it volume? Volume is correct, yes. Volume, oh, volume per unit course. time, specifically, yes. Um, technically, the right way is to have an extra dot on the top of the V. And I was able to do that in wonderful text mesh pro shenanigans. You should really see the text that is currently behind the scenes on that question. It's a mess. Um, let's keep going, though. We need to write this wrong. Get rid of the strike from the board. David, where are we going now? Boy bands. Back to boy bands. See if we can complete that set. It's another triple threat, though. So three correct answers required to complete this question. And the question is, name the three brothers who make up the band Hanson. Ten seconds. Oh, Tom, Dick and Harry, Mike, Timmy, uh, the, the blonde one. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the young one, the old one and the middle one. Hanson one, Hanson two and Hanson three. Yeah, unfortunately I can't take Han, any of Han, those. Han, Han and Han. Even though, <laughs> even though I know what you're describing is accurate, unfortunately they're not their names, so I can't take them. Oh, <laughs> Two strikes on the board. The answers we're looking for there were Isaac Taylor and Zach. Isaac Taylor and Zach. They, uh, they go by Han Han and Han to their friends. Oh, do they? Really? Uh, unfortunately, I have no resource here to say of that, so uh, I have to accept what I have in front of me as my <laughs> rubric, I'm afraid. Um, so we are back here in two strike territory. So, Tipster, this is actually now your second pick this time round. So you're going to be starting to make it a good one because otherwise, if we get to your third pick and you fail to get David out of his seat, then we have to say goodbye to you. So, Tipster, which category is going to get rid of David? 
Ah, uh, let's try Made in Italy again. Made in Italy. Another regular question, David. You need this right to stay in the game. The question is, in 1932, the oldest film festival in the world was founded in which Italian city? 10 seconds. Milan, Florence, Rome, uh, Turin, uh, Naples, uh, Venice. There um, it is. Oh. Um, pressing and guessing got Venice you there Venice Film eventually. Festival, yeah. The Venice Film Festival, indeed. Well played. Keeping yourself in the game, writing those wrongs. That is what we need. 50,000 still in the bank and zero strikes on the board. Tips, so that was your second two-strike pick there. Just one more left, and then we may have to say goodbye to you and test some code that we have not currently run yet tonight. <laughs> so it'll be very interesting how that goes. Uh, but for now, David, we'll come back to you. What, what is the next category? There will be blood. Kill the animals. There will be blood. Will it be another wrong answer? Let's find out. Apparently now I've got a natural uh, Richard Quest going on with my voice. Uh, the question is, what would you call a shepherd's pie that is prepared with beef mints instead of lamb? 10 seconds. Uh, tastier. Um, uh, I don't know. Uh, cottage pie. Uh, uh, yes, it is a cottage okay. pie, yeah. All right, okay. That simple, eh? It is just that simple. You could also say a Cumberland pie as well. Uh, I'm going to take all the rest of the said stuff you said as tasty as, you know, as a joke answer, as not an actual <laughs> given answer. So, uh, yeah, Cottage Pie was your first given answer. 1,000 added in the bank. Nicely done. And you've seen 40 questions now. Nicely done. That's what right. we like to see. Uh, another 10, and you would have completed your own personal 50, which is uh, a feat very few have been able to achieve. Uh, where are we going next, David? Sounds fishy. Sounds fishy. Let's find out. According to the US National Ocean Service and Blathers from Animal Crossing, <laughs> what is the world's largest species of fish? 10 seconds. The whale shark. The whale shark is correct. In before somebody makes a blue whale joke. Uh, adding a thousand. Well, that, that's that's a whale that's just been cooked a little bit. Oh, goodness me! Oh, no. <laughs> not again! <laughs> not again! It's another blue joke. Oh my god! No! I mean, again. it's after two in the morning. That's the time for blue jokes. Oh, oh here we go! We're we're right into it now, aren't we? Oh my god! Anyway, let's get on with it. Next question, please. What category? <laughs> uh, let's save the animals. Saving the save animals. ourselves from the jokes. We really are going to save ourselves here right at the moment. Uh, question on this is, in the early 1990s, the Go-Go's posed naked on behalf of Peter behind a banner that read, we'd rather go naked than do what? 10 seconds. Wear fur. Correct. Yes. Great answer there. Uh, I have apparently some sleep or something in my eye that wants to get out of there. Wonderful. Let's make that happen. Uh, get a thousand more on the board. I'm going to have a quick check of the, uh, the donations just to see if anything else has come in in the recent uh, recent minutes or so. Uh, there have not been. That's absolutely fine. Uh, if you do want to make any donations, uh, then tylerurl.com slash 500QS donate hit the donate command, anything like that. There is a poll whether you want to try and save and kill the animals, but it doesn't really mean anything because uh, it doesn't lead to anything here. I'm not playing uh, Super Metroid, I'm afraid. Um, or maybe I just learned to play Super Metroid as another extension goal. I don't bloody know. Um, <laughs> I, I, 10 grand. I don't really do speedrunning of games. 10 grand, bloody hell. Uh, let's keep going, though, where we are right now with zero strikes on the board and 42. It's a lovely question there. Uh, 42 uh, answers seen so far. Where are we going uh, next? Let, let's round off pot luck of gold. Finishing off the gold, question is, popular among pre precious metal investors, what gold coin became legal tender in South Africa in 1989? 10 seconds. Uh, the, uh, the one rand, the, um, the doubloon, the, uh, the, um, uh, pieces of eight. I don't know. I have no idea. Can someone confirm, please, in the proofing team? You said one rand, didn't you? Yeah. So the answer we have here is a Kruger rand. And I just want to make sure if a one rand is enough to say that it is actually equivalent or if they are distinctly different coins. I'm happy rand, to take the wrong answer on that. 
David is saying Rand is not good enough. Okay, that's fair. I just wanted to make sure before we moved on on that one. So unfortunately, you were very close, but a wrong answer. So we put a strike on the board, and yes, the answer there is a Kruger Rand specifically, what we're looking for there. So we need to get rid of that strike. You've seen 43 questions so far, which is a very good performance. There are 15 questions left in this 50. Where are we going next? Uh, I would be unhappy if I got knocked out before doing all the gaming questions. So let's go to gaming lexicon again. All right, gaming lexicon it shall be to write that wrong. Question is, the Super Mario Sunshine level, Sirena Beach, derives its name from the Italian word for which mythical creature? 10 seconds. Uh, the siren uh the um, yeah i can take that here yeah, i do have a condone there for siren the answer is technically a mermaid uh but uh, i do have a rubric rule here to say except on siren so nicely okay. done we clear that strike and add a thousand to the board and continue on uh fitness training Going to fitness training, another question here. What gassy sounding calisthenic exercise combines a squat thrust with a squat jump and sometimes a push up in between for an extra challenge? 10 seconds. The burpee. Yeah, you said this earlier, didn't you? Yeah. Finally coming up again, this time in your favor as an actual correct answer and a thousand added to your total. Now up to 20,000 in your bank. Congratulations, doing really well now. 45 questions you've seen yourself and still going strong. What's your next category pick? Let's finish off fitness training. Fitness training, last question in the category. Often known by an acronymic name, the Progressive Aerobic Cardiovascular Endurance Run Test is typically run over what distance? 10 seconds. Uh, 10 meters, five meters, 100 meters, 20 meters, 25 meters, 30 meters, 40. Press a guess, <laughs> 20 meters is correct. Yes, of course, this is known as the Pacer Test. Or should I say, the Fitness Grand Pacer Test is a multi-stage aerobic capacity test that progressively gets more difficult as it continues. The 20 meter Pacer Test will begin in 30 seconds. Line up at the start. The running speed starts slowly, but gets faster each minute after you hear this signal. I don't have the sound, I'm afraid. A single lap should be completed each time you hear this sound. Remember to run in a straight line and run as long as possible. The second time you fail to complete a lap before the sound, your test is over. The test will begin on the word start. On your mark, get ready, start. I'm sorry, I wasn't go. listening. What was that? Don't worry. You don't have to worry about it. We're not doing any <laughs> running right now. But uh, yes, there's, I, I had to do it because it's all quoted there. Thank you very much for putting the quote in there. Uh, 20 meters. You got the guess in there. Not on the first bounce, but uh, we keep ourselves strikeless. That's all that matters. Let's keep us going in the game. Uh, kill the animals. We're going to kill the animals. Question. What type of ramen derives its name from the Japanese word for pork bones? 10 seconds. Oh, oh I used to know this. And it's fallen out my head. Um, so I'm just going to say uh, 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 sayonara. Sayonara. <laughs> Afraid not. It's not that. Oh, actually, what was what was the Japanese word earlier? Tori. There we go. Tori. Uh, it does yeah. begin with T, actually, in this case, but it's not a Tori. Uh, tipster, do you have a clue? I am um, no. <laughs> Honestly, no. It's a tonkotsu we're looking for. Tonkotsu mm. kind of ramen. Yeah, never there. would have got that. Quite a few getting that right. Um. Uh, yeah, not a katsu, not a miso, but those are other types of ramen broth. We um, drink again. Absolutely. Strike on the board. We can get rid of that. Uh, but we are starting to run dry now on the number of questions available here in this 50. So make mm -hmm. the decisions count now. Only 11 until the next 50. Uh, let's do the final gaming lexicon. Let's finish off gaming lexicon. The question there is... What popular video game franchise is, ironically, an anagram of something dark? 10 seconds. Uh, oh, um, uh, Mario, Zelda, uh, Portal, um, uh, 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 no. Something dark. Maybe sh Shadow? Uh, the the no. full phrase something dark will anagramize to something oh, incompletion. Oh, I wasn't even, I was just trying to think, of, I thought that was a clue. Uh, it's um, it's uh, Kingdom Hearts. 
That it is, Kingdom Hearts. Yeah. Yes. Oh. Yeah, there was a reason that entire phrase there was capitalized to try and clue you in that the whole phrase there was an anagram. Yeah. RTFQ. RTFQ, as they do say. Uh, donations just come in here. Who has it come from? It has come from a Matt Clemson with a £40 and 45 pence donation saying uh haven't been able to watch much but uh, you're doing great keep it up thank you very much for that donation and that has gone towards the save or kill the animals you have donated that towards save the animals which means so far on our polls we do have just the 40 pounds and 45 pence currently leading on save the animals uh, and you've also put that towards uh, one of the dual poker chip set redemptions as well. Thank you very much for that, Matt. We will sort that out once I have made the order happen. Uh, so let's get back into it because, well, two strike territory, Tipster. You know what that means. This is your last chance to try and dethrone David with a pick of question. Oh, oh, oh I... I'm so tempted to go for Made in Italy again, just for the sake of it. But do you want, do you want to I, go to Made in Italy? I yeah. Do you know what? Do you know what? Let's let's see if uh, uh, David can best the Made in Italy category and get uh, a, a better than average score on it. I've been waiting for a pasta question to come up, so uh, yeah. Made in Italy, yeah. Yes, Made in Italy. This may be hubris, but made in Italy. <laughs> Here's a regular question. David, you need to answer this correctly to stay in. If you do so, then tipster, we will say goodbye to you. This is your last chance to try and dethrone due to a category pick. David, your question is... What musical instrument invented by Bartolomeo Cristofori derives its name from its ability to play both soft and loud tones? Ten seconds. Um, uh... Uh, clarinet, oboe, um, uh, flute, uh, fr uh, horn, trumpet, cornet. Uh, no. Well, it was a good run. Oh, I, I was actually willing you on there. <laughs> on the final, final chance for Tipster, and it paid off in that case. Um, what are the dynamic markings in music for soft and loud, respectively? Oh my, piano forte. That the answer is, you could have just yeah. given me the word piano. The technical correct answer is indeed a piano forte. Oh, David, oh I can't believe it. We are saying goodbye to you. I thought we were going to have another wonderful run here up until the end of the 500. But alas, we have hit a roadblock three wrong in a row. And you are now... <gasps> But nothing to be ashamed of with that performance. You managed to complete 49 questions yourself. Oh, amass oh, 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 amass oh. 20,000 in your personal bank as well. You were, yeah, unfortunately, just one shy of a full 50. But there was a break. But still, 49 questions is a damn good performance. Um, Congratulations I'm, there, I'm David. I'm more, more than happy with that. I mean, some of the... the like the Alice in Wonderland get and the Jumping Jacks get and that. I'm, I'm, I'm happy with that. Some, some, some wrong... Some stupid answers in there, but uh, yeah. And thank you so much, Ash, for putting all this on. This is an incredible thing. Thank and uh, good luck, Tipster. Hope you hope you make it all the way to the end. Uh huh. Yeah. I <laughs> I hope I I uh I like your optimism. Uh. <sighs> well, David, you've done so well here, but unfortunately, finally, we have to say goodbye. Take care. Have a great rest of your night. All right. Thanks, guys. Good night. No, thank, thank you. You you played so well, mate. You, you played really so well. did play amazingly up to that point there, but unfortunately, just ran out of steam. Oh my god! All the noise is happening now. Uh, what do you call a piano that costs one thousand pounds? A grand piano. But I'm sure there yeah, you get a ding for that one there, Lingo Maniac. Thank you very much for the fourteen month three sub there. What do you call a piano with that costs a thousand pounds? It is of course a grand piano uh, and also thank you for the follow there as well from a dillo appreciate the follow so tipster in the driving seat how does this feel uh, weird weird <laughs> very weird that the this is the third time i've been on that podium and the first time i've been over here 
So this is this is unknown territory for it me. It is brand new territory for you. Well, let's see how far we can go. There are still a total of uh, doing the battle. That one, 49, uh, 59 questions, should I say? 59 questions until we have finished tonight's episode. Do you think you can complete 59 questions? Uh, I'm going to use one of my old catchphrases here, and it's lower your expectations. All right, let's lower our expectations then and start <laughs> off here. Where are we going to start off with, Tipster? What category? Uh, let's start off with a bad category and go kill the animals, please. <laughs> Good pick. Top 10 challenge. Here we go. We need to pick somebody else. And it is Dylan. Dylan EA has been picked by the game to face you here in a top 10 challenge, potentially. So, Dylan, where are you? Ah, you are in the green room. Right, we'll just wait for you to make your arrival into the live studio. And uh, that is such a cute toaster, that is, isn't it? You just, it, it just like, you just the little, the, the, the handle uh, high as well. I love that. It's so that, cute. that is so cute. So cute. I, adorable. I want I, one. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's like, if you're not selling those as stickers or something, I, I think you should be doing that because it's a miss, missed opportunity otherwise. Um, honestly, that is, a, that is a wonderful little design. Uh just waiting for Dylan to be uh, soundtrack. There we go. Welcome to the studio, Dylan. Welcome to uh, the stream. How are you doing? I'm doing all right. Hey, this is my first time here. I was going to say, this is a, I, I was say, I'm not familiar with the avatar. We, we were just complimenting you on such a wonderful, cute toaster avatar there. Uh, how did you come to find us? Uh, I've actually been, um, followed a while ago, but you always seem, seem, seem to stream when I'm asleep. So this is the first time I've actually been able to catch it, just because of how long it is. Oh, so, so um, where, no. whereabouts in the world are you then? I'm I'm in New Zealand, but I also ah. have a very nocturnal sleep schedule, so that messes a whole lot up. <laughs> so we have another one from that area of the of the globe there. Yeah, yeah. Normally I stream at eight to ten p.m. in the GMTs, which obviously is sort of like yep. you know in the sleepy bye bye that, land for Australia. Well, that's actually um, around, that starts around about nine a.m. my time, but I go to bed like five thirty a.m. <laughs> oh right, see all those people. Okay, fair enough. Well, that's absolutely fine. And yeah, this is why I do these. The, the sort of long stream every now and then to try and catch some other people that otherwise would miss my content so yeah. welcome to the stream uh, welcome to this wonderful situation where we have a potential top 10 that you might be taking part in uh, tipster it's actually your decision though uh and uh, we, you know it is you know jumping straight into the deep end here because your first question tipster uh on the hot seat side do you want to play this top 10 or do you want to let dylan play this top 10 I want to sit back a little longer, so I'm going to let Dylan play it. You sure? Oh, no. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm sure. Okay, Dylan, you are coming, setting up to the plate very early on here. Oh, so God. <laughs> this is a top 10 challenge. We're going to ask you to name Did five... I mention I'm terrible at quizzes? <laughs> you are going to do absolutely fine. I'm sure of it. You're going to be able... You're going to need to name five of the top 10 of something within 15 seconds. If you can do that, then you earn the right to stay where you are. And tips to here will get a strike on the board if you fail to do so though unfortunately we will have to say goodbye it is a bit of a cruel game this so are you ready for your top 10 challenge uh as ready as i'll ever be i guess all right good luck dylan here comes your question name five of the top 10 oecd countries that eat the most beef and veal per capita this is according to the latest data available on oecd.org 15 seconds uh united states united kingdom new zealand australia um italy, italy france um belgium germany uh greece uh, south africa mexico brazil i'm just naming countries at this point <laughs> Oh, you were getting so close there. You got South Africa and Brazil to make it four. You did not get five. You were oh. so close. Now, the thing is, you went with the United States and then you went south. If you'd just gone a little bit further north from the United States, you would have had uh, the fifth. Wait, did I not say Canada? Did you not <laughs> when, say while Canada? you were reading the questions, that was one of the ones that came in my mind. I didn't actually Can say it. Can someone then it. check if I missed it or not? No, I, I don't think I said it. I don't, I <laughs> but it was one of the ones I was thinking of. 
I, I, I just want to make sure for the, you know, for the sort of the, the for any sort of doubt, I don't want to make sure that I didn't miss it because it will make the difference here otherwise. Uh, I think it should be all right, but before I press any buttons, because this is the last point where I can override the rule here. Uh, I mean, we all heard it in our hearts, certainly, Chris. That's absolutely fair. But uh, unfortunately, the game is a cruel mistress, and uh, we don't yeah, listen not, to emotions. There's no telepathic interface. <laughs> <for this game>. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> not quite I'm, yet. Not quite I'm, yet. I'm glad I passed that one because I, I'd have been doing the same. I'd have just been barking countries out, hoping for the best. Um, but yeah, uh, that, very well done there, Dylan. <laughs> Well, the the reason I went south is because I know that um, uh, United States, Australia, New Zealand are like the some of the the most obese countries by per capita, and so I just said, "Well, they eat a lot." <laughs> uh... So that's why I went south because I knew that fact, and I was hoping it was a related fact. So, based on the fact that I have not heard anybody else say otherwise, I think I'm going to say you did not say Canada in that case, even though yep. you did think it. So that is four yep. of five. Unfortunately, means that is a wrong. Ever so close there, though, Dylan. You could have stayed in, but uh, alas, not this time round. Let's have a look at the other possible answers. Could have said Argentina, also Israel, Chile, Kazakhstan as really? well. Yes, indeed. Canada wow. and Norway was also on the list as well. That eat the most beef and veal per capita that's the key there is the per capita part of it potentially uh so dylan unfortunately very close but not quite enough to stay in the game there so uh, i hope you've had a lot of fun here uh tuning in and watching along with all this uh, madness um and uh i hope to hope to see you around on future streams as well obviously my, my stream time doesn't help you a great deal but uh <laughs> if ever i do another stream at a stupid time like this then uh, do feel free to tune in or if and, i have, uh, a, have a reasonable sleep schedule where i wake <laughs> up you know in the morning <laughs> uh, i mean when you people know, are expected to <laughs> what is sleep we just don't know uh for now though dylan thank you very much for playing and we'll see you later take care yeah this has been fun thank you very much wonderful take care bye tipster Ooh. that was your first question and you just about survived it yeah just about and you got a thousand on the ball for it for that uh that one missed answer there on the top five and now well we come back to you so now you might be actually taking on a question unless you've managed to find another top 10 yeah let's see i i'm i'm not planning to luigi strat this but uh <laughs> <laughs> uh let's go with uh let, let's let's finish the block save the animals please save the animals okay question there is this what canadian singer songwriter has appeared in numerous ads for the spca accompanied by her song angel 10 seconds um gabriella chill me no that's not canadian um what's her name avril lavigne um gosh ah oh, it, it's uh, it's Celine Dion. um some answers no. there but none of them sticking i'm afraid wrong answer on the board there a few people in chat getting that one yes it's sarah mcclachan we we're looking for oh. there not to, not an answer that was on your mind not on my radar i'm afraid fair enough well we can very quickly write that wrong i hope although we are running out of categories to pick here for now uh the entire left hand left hand side of the board has gone now uh just sounds fishy 2d planes and automobiles let's go for 2d planes 2d planes then is this opening with the basics of planar geometry what famous mathematical treatise was written by euclid approximately 2300 years ago 10 seconds um uh uh no i'm i poor i have no clue on this Oh. Um. <coughs> out of time and another strike on the board so soon after we're up to two strikes a couple of people in chat car and mark getting it right we're looking for elements oh. that was the name of the book really for is elements or the mathematical called treaties specifically i suppose it's called elements so scary situation for you here tips to two strikes on the board that does mean we have to press this button 
to bring somebody else in to decide oh. your next question. And it's Tantasar, another one from oh. the Aussie side of the world. Tantasar, could you please make your way to the green room, etc. For <laughs> Proogs in chat. Right, I'm actually, actually going to sleep now. Uh, congratulations, Ash. You're nearly there, and thank you. Thank you, Proogs, for <laughs> hanging on in there. Do go and get some sleep if you really are flagging. Thank you very much for hanging on this long, though. That is... Uh, Phenomenal to be able to be here still after 15 hours of this stream being running so far. So thank you very much for that. Do do it. Take care. And I'll be seeing you later. Uh, Tantasar, welcome to the stream. How are you doing? Oh, all right. Just had a, a seven hour sleep and came back and you were still going. Oh, it's incredible. God. You, you people just, you know, boasting about your seven hours of sleep yeah. while I've been here for 15 <laughs> hours streaming so far. Goodness me. But I hope it was a good sleep, at least. Oh, it was. Yes. Oh, that, that's that's good. Well, welcome to the game. So you should be nicely refreshed then in your current situation. Mm. Well, in a manner of speaking. In a manner of speaking. Well, you've got a decision to make here then. If you can make it the right decision, then you are going to be taking the hot seat here away from Tipster. You've got to decide the next category between sounds, fishing, 2D planes, and automobiles. Which one do you think well, Tipster knows least about? There's, uh, there's a um, category up there with a lot of red in it. Um, I'm going to have to go with 2D planes. Okay. Oh, oh no. It's a battle, <laughs> I'm afraid. It's possibly a backfire oh, decision. These both of you are at risk here. One of you will survive and will continue on, and the other will disappear from the arena. So, get yourself ready. Let's dim the lights once again for this very critical battle. Now, Tipster, you are the one actually in the hot seat here, so you are the one with the decision as to who goes first. Would you like to lead or follow? I mean, I'm also the one with seven hours less sleep, so I'm going to follow. <laughs> You're going to follow. All right, That's so cool. Tantasar, you are answering first on this question. Name the 42 integers between 1 and 99 inclusive that can be expressed as the sum of the squares of two integers. We are looking for any positive integer less than 100 that is of the form a squared plus b squared where A and B are integers. There are no other restrictions on what A and B can be. Tantasar, you're answering first. Five seconds. 13. Yes. Two. Yes. 25. Yes. Four. Yes. Five. Yes. Eight. Yes. <clears throat> uh, um, thirty-two. Yes. Thirty-seven. Yes. Eighteen. Yep. Oh God, this gets into memory now. Uh, forty. Yep. Seventy-two. Yes. Seventeen. Yes. Fifty. Yes. <clears throat> thirteen. We've already had thirteen. Oh, that was yeah, the first memory, thing I yeah. said. Literally the first thing Tantasar went with, yes, was 13. So that is technically a wrong answer, and it is a duplicate guess. And <sighs> we ended it on the 13th correct guess, may I also add. That was rather serendipitous. Um, so, unfortunately, Tipster does mean that is three wrong in a row. That does mean that you are gone. gone. 
Now let's have a look at the answer board. Let's see all the other answers there could have been. Of course, there's 1 and 9 and 10 and 16. Oh, 20, 26, 29, 24, 26, 41, 45, 49, 52, 53, 58, 56. You can see all the other numbers. You can do math, obviously. But yeah, everyone forgets the zero squared bit in there. You could have also gone with it. It was always going to be a memory game, uh, I think. Absolutely. I mean, it was either that or you were sensible and, you know, started from the low numbers and went up so you didn't have to make it a memory game. I was trying to do that, but, yeah, but somebody... Tans- yeah, yeah that's that's hard. Decided 13. I was having the same problem, actually. 50, 32, just go with random numbers. Why I, the hell not? So I decided I, to, you know, just go random as well. And <laughs> it, it, it pay off. I, I, think, I think I dug a hole for both of us there. <laughs> Oh, heck. Well, well played anyway. So, <laughs> tipster, that does mean we have to say goodbye. Very well played, though, up to that point. I uh, hope you had a lot of fun, though. I had a lot of fun despite not answering a single question correct. <laughs> <laughs> well, in either case, tipster, we're going to say goodbye to you. Thank you very much for playing. Take care. Well. And we now roll around to Tantasar, who now takes up the hot seat with just five, uh, 55 questions left in the entire game tonight. Um, how are you feeling at the moment there, Tantasar? Well, um, wasn't expecting to be uh, over here after that that question. That was um, <laughs> That was something. It definitely was something, but here you are in the driving seat. You've got to get through five questions before you could see the final board, though. So, at the very least, you need to get to, uh, you know, four, four, eight at that point with zero strikes, and then you're definitely through. So, what do you want to go for? Sounds fishy, 2D planes or automobiles? Well, there's a lot of red in 2D planes, uh, mm. but I am both more confident on it and don't have any strikes. So we're gonna go with 2D planes. Fair enough, let's go with 2D planes and let's see if we get at least a little bit of white on there for you. So first question for you is this. The standard XY coordinate system for specifying points on a plane is named after which French mathematician born in 1596? 10 seconds. Descartes? It is Descartes, yes. René Descartes. Which of course, it's the Cartesian, Cartesian sort of coordinate system, absolutely. Nice start. Thousand on the board for you on your first question. And uh, yes, fixing that uh, the problematic category there, getting a bit of white there at the end of 2D planes. Only two categories left now, though. Sounds fishy and automobiles. Uh, let's go with automobiles, please. Going to automobiles. Question is, in 1985, during Mario Cuomo's governorship, which US state became the first to require motorists to wear seat belts? 10 seconds. New York, California. Great New- answer, yes. Well, okay. Great answer. Another thousand added to the board and we continue strong. Next question. If you get this next one right, you're guaranteed to see the next 50, no matter what. That sound good. Um, let's finish off automobiles. Let's finish that category off. Question is, the E-Type, also known as the XKE in North America, was a sports car manufactured by what company by, uh, from 1961 to 1975? 10 seconds. Jaguar, Porsche. Answer. Well played. Oh, yeah. yeah, the Jaguar E-Type. Uh, one such car was available to win on the very first playing of the Price is Right game, Golden Road. But unfortunately, the can- contestant did not win it. Oh, well, that's a shame. Another thousand added. Three thousand for three questions. You're doing very well here, Tatsa. And you're also guaranteed to see the final 50. At least one of them. At least one question. Yay, yet. choice. <laughs> you will get a bit of, bit of choice. But we have to get through sounds fishy first to get there. So, penultimate question in this stack is this. What word can either mean a member of order Siluriforms or to deceive someone with a fake online profile? 10 seconds. Fish. Catfish is correct, yeah. Another thousand added to your total and one final sounds fishy question to go, which is this. 
Also a popular candy. What is the Spanish word for a fish in the sea? Ten seconds. Um, uh, herring, uh, the, yeah. Uh, first misstep there, first strike on the board, but you're definitely through to the next 50, which is nice to see. Uh, lots of people in chat already shouting an answer here. It's a simple three letter answer. It's a Pez. Oh. Yeah, a fish okay. in the sea, very specifically in that context, in Spanish is Pez. Uh, and because there is a distinction between that and pescado, which is sort of the, the usual word that you would have for just fish as a food. So, okay, then. there we are. You are through into the final 50, Tantasar, with one strike currently on the board. So, you're not in, you know, it's a nice, manageable situation, depending on what the categories will entail. Before we get there, though, I did hear a little ding earlier. So, let me quickly refresh my screen here and get the latest, the latest updates from the website on Teltify. And we got another £10 donation from SWG, who says, It was an honour losing a bit ago, but thank you so much for hosting. Thank you very much for that £10 donation there. And you've also gone towards the poll and contributed your £10 towards Save the Animals. So literally everybody is saving the animals right now, with £50 and £45 towards Saving the Animals. So, Tantasar got any ideas on what kind of categories you'd like to see in the final stack here oh maybe some video games possibly i don't know is there a general knowledge stack in there somewhere uh well we haven't had any randoms to be honest and i can't remember if there's a random in the final stack or not however i do know that the authors of stack 10 are score count inca dmc poker shapes and Samster Samster. So having score in there, there might be a bit of video game stuff. You never know. Yeah. Uh, may Some I just strong say, writers in there. Very much so. May I just say, back to that previous stack there that we just played out, Lingo. Absolutely awesome stack there with some wonderful creative use of the categories and that just mind-blowing question about the uh, Scrabble words tied across to the Smash character list is just... That is an enormous list that we just wouldn't have thought would be a thing. Uh, but uh, some great knowledge trying to find that. And some great question writing. Thank you very much for that stack lingo. Wonderful I missed that stack. one before I woke up. I'll have to go back and check oh, that. Oh, it is an absolutely fantastic question. Yeah, do go back on the VOD to see it. Uh, unfortunately, the game didn't really work out that well. Uh, but the, the actual answers are just something to behold. Anyway final stack folks we're in this the final stretch the final 50 yes we are doing it we are doing another 500 questions we're going to complete it so we have cartoons and comics nightmares computer science we have the return of flags again war food translations classic novels chemistry james bond themes and potpourri those are all of the 50 questions remaining, the 10 categories of the final stack. Uh, score count is already deflecting here in chat saying, as it happens, I did write a video game stack, but we didn't use it. Um, but he did write oh. it. We just unfortunately did not use it in the final stack. Uh, another ding has just occurred. Let me quickly check what that ding was. That ding there was... Uh, according to Tiltify, there are no donations. No, there it is. Uh, £5.69 donation there from the man under the wheel who says, I send my regards to better the mental health of others. Hashtag bankrupt anxiety. Hashtag make depression lose a turn. Thank you very much for that £5.69 donation there. Man under the wheel. Appreciate that. And take care out there. Thank you for all those kind words and kind donations where are we on our total as well three thousand three hundred and sixty nine pounds and fifty five pence is our current total goodness me do we think we can get to four thousand we only have 50 questions left i know i still have to work out the maths on all of my contribution as well will it be enough to carry the through the four thousand barrier i don't know i really don't know i've not done the maths on it yet Anyway, we've got some questions to deal with first. 
Tantasar, which one tickles your fancy? Well, I must say, ironically, there are some real nightmares up there. Um, mm. Some that I, I just think I'll be drowning in. Um, at the moment, though, I have a strike, and I'm going to go for computer science. You're going to go for computer science to try and clear that strike. Yeah, the target, if we can reach the £4,000 target, is that uh, Lee over on Quarrel Stream Game has uh, has um, given us the, the go-ahead that uh, if we reach the 4000 then I will get to host an episode of Quarren Stream, the game show, uh, which is an absolutely awesome invention uh, hosted by Lee Eck and, of course, Mr. Game Show alongside with some wonderful moderation team as well alongside that with the JB is one of those there. That, that, that's He's been sort of the middleman arranging this uh, whole situation for the 4K donation target. So appreciate that there, JB. Of course, he's also going to be doing some, uh, some wheel stuff in a moment once we finish this stream. And we're all going to go raid him and uh, send him some love. Uh, another ding has just occurred. Let's quickly catch that while we're here before we uh, get really going again. Oh, Lingo Maniac. Speaking of them, all that previous stack there. Very generous donation. £100 donation, no less. And it just says, thanks, everyone, with a heart. Thank you, Lingo, for that £100 donation. That is immensely generous. Oh, also... Did go towards the pole, and he's decided to kill the animals, which does mean kill is now in the lead. 100 pounds versus 50 pounds and 45 pence. That does mean if you want to save the animals, whatever the hell that means, then you need to get yourselves to get your donations in. Well, here we go. RIP ba animals, 2022 to 2022. RIP animals, absolutely. So, Tantasar, let's get into your game here. Computer science, let's see your first question in this stack. Widely used on computer servers, Unix time is the number of seconds that have passed since midnight on January the 1st of what year? 10 seconds. 1970? Yes, it is. And... Wonderfully, the proofers have written this. This question was proofed at 1,645,403,400 seconds in Unix time. You can do the maths on that. Those numbers get up exactly there. What that means, they really do, don't they? Uh, that's why they had the problem with Y2K, because, of course, there were systems that were running out of digits in a you know, simple 32-bit integer. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, we'll continue on. And your next category pick... Um, let's go for potpourri, please. Potpourri. First question there. In myth, Poseidon is the Greek god of the sea, storms, and which four-legged animal? The subject of many George Stubbs paintings. Ten seconds. Uh, goats, possibly. Um, uh, the, the, uh, the, 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 ha, mm. <laughs> It's amazing, isn't it, what happens when you just get yeah. under pressure and you just can't name four-legged animals. Uh, no. Not goats, I'm afraid. Strike on the board. We were looking for a horse. Horse is the answer right. there. Uh, George Stubbs was regarded as a sporting painter during his lifetime and thus was excluded from full membership of the Royal Academy. Horse is the answer we're looking for. Strike on the board. Let's see if we can fix that wrong. Where are we going to try and fix uh, it? Give me some more computer science, please. <laughs> Back to where you feel most comfortable. Let's see if you can get this one right. Which Hungarian-American polymath, who also worked on game theory, names the architecture used by most modern computers? Ten seconds. Um, uh, Intel? I don't, I, um, uh, um, hmm. Oh no, we are not in good position here. Now, no. two, two strikes now on the board. Anybody in chat know this one? Oh, Dylan, very nicely done there. Yes, you got the right answer. The answer we're looking for there is John von Neumann. Right. The answer there, or yep. just Neumann on his own mm -hmm. would have been good enough. Rings a bell, does it? Yeah. Uh, unlucky there. Well, we are on two strikes here, Tantasar. You know what that means. We've got to press the button. 
bring someone in to decide your fate. Oh my goodness me. Oh no. <laughs> what a person it is as well. Oh now dear. cut that out. Finally making an appearance in the 13th hour of the stream. No, literally the 16th hour of the stream, actually. And also new noise is happening because welcome raiders. I never thought I'd ever hear this. Quetz over at the Chase VGM over in Aussie Land is oh, giving nice. me a raid here in the UK. Hello, that happens raiders. On Sundays. I just don't know how this happens, but welcome, Quetz Raiders. Hey, what's up? I hope you're doing well. Hope you had a great Chase VGM over there with Quetz and the team over there. Absolutely wonderful. So I don't find a great deal of time anymore to be able to do that. I will try and make my way over there at some point. But welcome, one and all, to this charity stream, raising money for a mental health charity here in the UK. Mine, it's a wonderful one. If you can donate, if you wish to donate, even if it is just a single dollar of your own money, then tinyurl.com slash 500qsdonate. That is the link to do so. Scan the QR code if you want to do that or hit the donate command in chat. Any of those will do. Or if you just want to sit back and want to have a listen to what is going on in this uh, little quiz here, you can do that as well. There's no pressure whatsoever. You're more than welcome to lurk. Welcome to you all and toot. Welcome to you here in the Howdy. studio. Took you long enough. Yeah, I was doing stuff throughout the day and then I started to doze off and I thought, oh, I regret if I don't even try this. Uh, and I was waiting for the 30s phone carry to up. Never did. <laughs> so this the, you know, just get in now or I'm going to pass out. So it's, it's someone who's just woken up and had seven hours of sleep versus me who is uh, you know, on death's door. We'll see how well, it goes. We shall see how it goes. But uh, those in the community know the pedigree that is behind. Now cut that out. Uh, just absolutely phenomenal quiz machine. Um, honestly, one of the things I was hoping to see come up at one point in the stream would have been a Lucario versus Toot um, battle. But of course, as you say, mm -hmm. if you had something happen during the day, then of course that wouldn't have happened. But yeah. um, we, had, we had that duel anyway. So. We did indeed have duel in the in the, in that case instead. In that, uh, so uh, we already had a little taster. We just wanted to possibly a little more <laughs> than that for a little bit more, you know, spicy quizzing. But here we are at the at the as I say, the sixteenth hour as it is, uh, with the <laughs> final stack of fifty here with Toot against Tantasar, and it is a two strike scenario. So Toot, you are deciding here. The category that Tantasar has to face on the next question. But be aware that, of course, there are still some special questions out there, some battles and that. And if you do pick that, then you do have to take part. So, what category is it going to be, Toot? I mean, I'm going to be predictable and pick one I think they may be weak at and that I'm quite good at. And that's classic novels. Classic novels is the question we go for here. Tantasar, how do you feel? Yeah, that's, that's probably a good read. I. Yeah. I, I, I think this will be one of my wake ones. Yeah. Good call. Let's find out. You need this right, Tantasar, to stay in the game. Good luck. Your question is... Wide Sargasso Sea, detailing Antoinette's traumatic marriage to Mr. Rochester, is an anti-colonial prequel to which novel? Ten seconds. Wow. Yeah, no, very good call. I have... Sorry. Yeah, I have come up totally blank. Oh. Jane Eyre. Jane Eyre says toot. Jane Eyre is indeed the correct <laughs> answer. Yes. Yeah. Just that, like that. That was never coming out of my mouth. <laughs> sharing the knowledge just immediately right there from toot, showing exactly how he does know this stuff. And Tantasar, you played a great game category. up to that point. Let's just see how far you did play. Uh, Total nine questions, but 5,000 in the bank. That is very good progress, to be honest, compared to a lot of progress we've seen from other players. Uh, well done there, Tantasar. I will absolutely feel? take that. <laughs> absolutely. Well, congratulations. Uh, hope you've had a lot of fun, uh, even with your seven-hour sleep in between. Oh, yeah, it's been a good stream. Keep it up. <laughs> so close. We are so close to the end. It's just... It's just just there really just there we shall make it i'm sure for now tansa thank you very much for playing we gotta say goodbye though take care Hello.
And here we are with now cut that out, now assuming the hot seat position. How do you feel, Toot? Uh, a bit, a bit, you know, daunted. There's some categories I really like, and then a few that are dreadful. I don't know the strategy well enough. Like, again, well, it may just pass out any time from lack of sleep. So. Well, always make bear some really in dumb mind decisions. that uh, you should probably keep some questions in reserve so that you can clear some strikes off the board. But other than that, it's entirely up to you what kind of categories you want to pick. Just remember that once yeah. we get to two strikes, then we pass control to someone else to pick the next category where they might be picking a blind side for you. So, where do you want to go first, Toot? Yeah, I've got some obvious blind spots as well, which is a problem. Let's start with uh, flags, please. Let's start off with flags. Your first question then is this. A checkered flag of 16 blue and white squares is used in maritime communication to represent N and which short word? 10 seconds. Uh, S S Mayday, uh, overboard, uh, stop, go, north, starboard, port. Uh, wow, first wrong answer as well. Goodness no, me. Not... I know. Well, it is a strike on the board there. Uh, we did hint you in here with N that does start the word, and it is a very short word. There's only one other letter. No. Huh. Yeah, it does mean no. Uh, if you display it alongside the flag for yes, then it is recognised as a distress signal. So like, yes, no, yes, no. That is a distress mm -hmm. signal. I was thinking it was like, stop, not no. Okay, so that is what we're looking the more for you know. there. The more you know, indeed. That is a wrong on the board that we need to get rid of, Toot. Where do you want to go to try and get rid of it? Uh, it's be a cliche and do classic novels again. Classic novels. Ah, but it is a battle that it is. So we're going to have to bring somebody in to face you on a battle on classic novels. Oh, goodness me. We're bringing David back into the fray. Oh, wow. I didn't get a break, do I? What? Jesus. What is this game? Stacked? What is this? No chill whatsoever, I game. Come drama on. At the end of the night. Oh. Bloody hellfire. Um... One moment, I just had another ding come through on the overlay, so I'm just going to refresh, refresh, refresh over here on this side. We've got uh, a <laughs> speak of the devil. He just literally manifested himself in here with a £9.80 donation that I've just checked now, uh, which was a bonus 20p for every question I made it through. Thanks, Ash. Uh, you may be able to uh, uh, update that donation in a moment, depending on how well you do here, David. Uh, you contributed that £9.80 towards Save the Animals there on the panel. Thank you very much for that. Game Show Man with a £5 donation saying, Greetings from Anaheim, California. Appreciate that. Thank you. And you have decided to kill the animals. Danny Gambit with a £5.69 donation. Uh, manifesting Ash for Quarter Stream. Appreciate that. And uh, Save the Animals is what you've gone for. And another £5 donation there from Theory of Game. Curtis, you're still here. Goodness me. Uh, and you have gone for a £5 dono train. £5 dono train. Let's get this last goal done. Apparently, feet people are trying to band together for the last little push, the last hurrah for a £5 dono train. If you can contribute to that, then, well, here we go. It is your last opportunity to do so before we close everything off for the night. Uh, thank you very much for that £5 donation. Uh, no particular poll that went towards. We are sitting at £3,551 and a bit of change. We are getting ever so close to the four thousand mark and uh, dvd sith rejoins the game so soon after uh welcome back again david uh how you doing uh i'm glad i didn't go to bed <laughs> oh she did no offense uh, well <laughs> you are back in here on a battle against toot on classic novels what a hell not of a not a hell, what a hell of a category this is going to be. So, Toot, you are the one in the driving seat right here. You get to decide whether you want to lead or follow in this battle. I'd like to follow, please. You'd like to follow. Okay, so, David, you are answering first on this. Name the 20 novels and novellas by Charles Dickens. This list includes a novel which has left unfinished at the time of Dickens' death. We are not looking 
for short plays, uh, sorry, short stories, plays, or works in any other form, nor collaborative works which are only partially credited to Dickens. David, you're answering first. Five seconds. A Christmas Carol. Yes. Oliver Twist. Yes. Nicholas Nickleby. Yes. David Copperfield. Yes. Uh, Bleak House. Yes. The Pickwick Papers. Yes. Great Expectations. Yes. Uh, A Tale of Two Cities. Yes. Uh, Little Dorrit. Yes. Hard Hard Times. Yes. Uh, Oh, what's it called? Um, Chuzzlewit. Martin Chuzzlewit. Yes. Barnaby Rudge. Yes. Uh, The Curiosity Shop. The old Curiosity Shop. I will take that, yes. You corrected yourself. The Mystery of Edwin Drood. Yes. Uh, oh, but, um, our mutual friend. Yes. Dombey and Son. Yes. And that's me. I've got one more. That's it. <laughs> Is that it? Can I just say round of applause for that battle holy crap oh my god you made it tough that was a Jesus. hell of a battle I got one there. left now it's, now it's gone me. The last um, Toots what was your last offering it's the other Christmas I think it's did a bunch of Christmas ones like one's one's called the cricket in the hearth I think there's some yeah. other Christmas ones the one's like the bells the, or something I don't know what the last the Christmas hearth one. was one of them the other, oh, the one you're thinking of there, Toot, is the chimes. Oh, the bells are the grand poe, isn't it? I always confuse them. And then the other two that you did not answer, which is amazing that there's only other two after the, that, is the battle of life, and then the haunted man and the ghost's bargain. Uh, I haven't heard of those ones. Are, <laughs> no, 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 that, one. that there is the entire list. Congratulations on that performance, though. Goodness me. That is just a phenomenal performance. 16 of 20. We've not seen a perfect battle yet tonight, but uh, I think that's about as close as we're going to get, honestly. That was just just the best battle we've had in ages. Uh, DVD Smith, unfortunately, just falling foul this time round. Uh, just missing one extra little novel or novella to keep you in the game. But a wonderful, wonderful deal there between two great contestants there and uh, david you can go to bed now this time round. <laughs> honest <laughs> oh well it was good it was uh yeah good to have one last crack um Absolutely. but yeah what a way to go what a way to go indeed well thank you very much for playing there david take care and we will see you later i hope all right cheers catch you later toot just yeah. about surviving there in that battle goodness me did you yeah, think you'd, so you'd be the winner there I hope to with that category, honestly. I think a lot of categories I'm going to struggle, but if I, didn't, yeah. if I you know, lost that, I've got no faith in the rest of the, rest of the board. There I've got one thousand pound now, so at least I can try not get in the zero club. Uh, they are, yeah, just those four at the end there, so they're all very specifically grouped together, and uh, uh, presumably novellas rather than just the novels. So yeah, the the yeah, slightly the unknown ones. ones, yes. So one thousand in the bank. Two questions seen so far. No strikes on the board, and we can continue back on. Um, let's try chemistry. Let us try chemistry. Your question is, the mineral of Skeet is named in honour of which chemist? Ten seconds. Mary Curie. It is, yes. It, it, it sounds Polish. It sounds Polish, so you go for the Polish uh, chemist. Yeah, that's usually a nice question. And Curie is correct. Well done there. Thousand added to your total. Congratulations. Uh, we keep going. Let's do computer science, please. Computer science. It is a triple threat, so three correct answers required God. to complete this in 10 seconds. Your question is... Name the three logic gates whose name contains no other logic gate. 10 seconds. Uh, and, or, nor, but, if, uh, I don't know, I'm afraid. No 
one of the games. Uh, nor is a sort of composite of two particular kinds of gate. Yeah, that's fair. The three primary types not. are and, or, and indeed, yes, the negative form, not. Oh, no, I just didn't form. think of not as a gate. Ugh. Yeah, not it's is a gate. I thought. Yeah, it is a negation yeah, If I had more sleep, I think I might have got that. And um, RTVFQ, so indeed, it did say not very much so. It no, said not no, in I, the answer. I remember it saying not nor. But I thought, oh, does that count? Does that count or? I thought or was one. That counts reason. or inside it. So yeah, that's why it's a it's wrong not answer. Or. Mm, okay. Yeah, it's technically sort of a not or anyway. Not, that's yeah. Stupid. So oh. that is a no. You fail to answer, and a not. You fail to answer. <laughs> it's just all of the negative terms that you don't want to answer yeah, today. It's a real downer. Right. Let's uh, let's keep going on. There is a strike on the board that we need to get rid of. Where are we going for that then? Let's try Bond themes, please. James Bond themes. Question is, who is the youngest artist to perform the theme song for a James Bond film? Ten seconds. Billy Eilish. Pretty much has to be, doesn't it? Yeah, for no time to die. If it wasn't, I was, I was actually going to panic that one. <laughs> Correct answer yeah. adds a thousand to the board and clears that strike. Let's keep going. That's a nice answer. Um, let's do computer science again, please. Computer science. Question is, which British mathematician proposed a test for presence of mind involving a human judge, a human subject, and a third party? Ten seconds. Um, Maxwell Turing. Turing is correct. Um, yes, Alan Turing. The Turing test specifically here uh, to sort of test well, whether. Chinese something... room puzzle or something. I don't know. That. I, I know the Turing test, but I didn't know that one. Uh, yeah, theory test here is sort of to prove if uh, some sort of in, uh, output is or input and output, I suppose, is human or not. Mm. Um, nice answer there. Not on the first bounce, so nothing added to your total, but we keep mm. ourselves strikeless. Let's keep going. Uh, let's do flags again. Back to flags. Question is, two men, one holding an axe and one holding a, a paddle, appear on which Central American country's flag? Ten seconds. Uh, Honduras, Guatemala, uh, Guyana, Belize. Uh, there it is, Belize, yes. <laughs> yeah, uh, my, my answer was kind of always naming countries randomly, hoping to get them. Absolutely, <laughs> that's how this game all. works. Just keep pressing and guessing, and uh, you am sure get you there, and you did, did that time round. Not any bonus to the balance, but uh, keeping yourself strikeless is still as critical in the game. Next category. I'm curious about nightmares, so let's try that, please. All right, nightmares coming up. Here we go. Which highly bankable Hollywood star made their screen debut in 1984's Nightmare on Elm Street as the heroine's boyfriend, Glenn? Ten seconds. Johnny Depp. He did, yes. And the wonderful factoid here of uh, dying by getting sucked into a mattress. Oh, lovely indeed. Yep. Uh, so, so adding... movie. Oh, first kill in the movie. Nice. Adding he shows now... up again in Nightmare on Elm Street 6 doing a drug PSA. The real, the real Johnny Depp as himself. As himself in the movie. Oh, nice. Yeah, he appears on TV in an advert against drugs. Then Freddy hits him because they want to fall asleep. It's a nice See, little all, all of the film knowledge here from Toot. Um, another thousand <laughs> added to your <laughs> total. I'm something if I just start fail the flag question. <laughs> Let's keep going. Your next uh, category pick. Uh, I think it will be flags again, please. Back to flags as a triple threat so another three correct answers required in 10 seconds to complete the question and if you can three thousand dollar bonus for it here is the question besides spain and portugal name the three eu member states whose flags depict their coat of arms we are not considering any variant flags 10 seconds uh Ar armenia uh, uh san marino Liechtenstein, switzerland uh, uh, there's too many countries. Ah, no, I don't think they're Not a I think single... the ones that don't have coat of arms on their flags. That's, <laughs> uh, the the board, I'm afraid. So that's another strike back on the board. Uh, Twitch chat, any thoughts there? Uh, not the Vatican, not Australia. No, none of those. I'm afraid. The answers we're looking for were Croatia. Slovenia oh, and Slovakia. I, would, Those the I was nowhere there. near there. And we got a Slovenia and we got a Croatia from Mark and DVD Smith respectively there. 
So, strike on the board for your toots there. We need to write that wrong yeah. on your 10th well, question That's my worst now. category, so it's not too bad. Let's try classic novels. That's Something fair. Nice. We can use classic novels, hopefully, to dig us back out of that grave. Let's go. Question is, which character in Moby Dick, whose name is now a common sight on high streets, is the first mate on the Pequod ship? 10 seconds. Star Starbuck. Yeah, it is Starbuck, yes. And the founders of Starbucks plural, were directly inspired by the character of Starbuck in choosing the name for their company. They had also considered Pequod as a name as well. We write that I wrong? There's a mermaid on the uh, mm, logo, it, isn't there? Uh, yes, indeed. And another 5,000 added... Uh, sorry, another 1,000 added to touch will bring you up to 5,000 is what I meant to say. <clears throat> Ten questions seen so far. Let's keep this trailer rolling. Uh, let's do computer science again, please. Computer science, the last one in that category. However, it is a battle. So we've got to bring somebody else in to take you on. Flyboy1 returns back to the game. Are you there, Flyboy1? You have been picked by the game. Oh, I think I might have another sneeze coming in a moment. <coughs> yes, I do. I was right. There was one. <laughs> Flyboy, currently in the green room. Uh, I'm just going to wait for you to get sound checked. And while we do that, I'll have a quick look at the donation total again. See if we've got anything else. Uh, go back to the overview page. We have, if it wants to reload the donations, my nose is now filled with a bit of uh, stuff. Uh, we have got, uh, oh, quite a few actually. Apodo, five pounds, joining the trade from looks of things. Save the animals. Tandry with five pounds. Uh, Toot Toot's donation trade, going to save the animals. JB with a five pounds with trade emoji. Uh, thank you very much for all those donations. And also Tantasar, another five pounds. Here's five pounds for $5,000 in winnings. Save the animals on top of that. So that does mean we're currently at... 105 pounds for kill, 80 pounds and 94 for save the animals. And we are at 3,556 pounds and 18 pence currently in the total. Hello there, Flyboy. Welcome back to the game. How are you doing? Uh, hello there. Uh, <laughs> I'm a bit tired, but I think I can do it this time. Yeah. I think you can do it. I think you can hang on for a little bit longer here. Welcome to this battle here against Toot in the world of uh, computer science. Now, Toot, would you like to lead or follow in this battle? I'd like to uh, run away crying at this category. <laughs> I will uh, follow, please. You go to follow. Okay, Flyboy, you are answering first on this question. Name the 14 most popular programming languages. This is based on the popularity of programming language index which is based upon how often programming languages are looked up on Google. One of the correct answers comprises of two languages that are considered functionally identical. And if we do get one of those answers, I will indicate both in the response. This data was retrieved on the 2nd of February. Flyboy, you are picking first. Five seconds. Okay, Java. Java, yes. Python. Yes. C sharp. Yes. C plus plus. And the other one that is associated to C plus plus is also C. So both of those are now taken. Okay. The announcer, well, Flyboy. Visual Basic. Basic is unfortunately not in the top. 14 answers it is as listed on the website dylan the both c and c plus plus are listed together as one on the website so it counts as one entity and that is why we have treated the answer as such i know that the people may disagree with that and that they are they are functionally different languages they lump it all into one you can go and complain at pepple instead or pipple should i say rather than pipple uh so you can go and complain at them instead not us we're following what they say and they they are the truth 
Unfortunately, Flyboy, Visual Basic not in the top 14. I'm trying to remember exactly where they are on the list. I think it's possibly something like 17 or 18th on the list. So it was a good guess, but unfortunately not one in the top 14. So we have to do we do have to say goodbye on that one. Uh Toot, any ideas uh, on any further answers? I was gonna say R. I think it's gotta be on there. Yes, R is Maybe definitely PHP. up there. PHP is also up there in the top 14, yes. Yeah, they start to struggle. Okay, let's have a look at the other answers we've got. We do have JavaScript, we have PHP, we've got R, Objective-C is another different variance of C that is separate to C and C++. They separate that, but not Objective-C. Uh, we have Swift, TypeScript, MATLAB, Kotlin, Go, and Ruby. Those are the distinct 14 list uh, that we were able to find on the 2nd of February back then. So, Flyboy is a good guess, though, with your Visual Basic, unfortunately, not on the list we were looking for, so we do have to say goodbye, but uh, appreciate you coming back again for a second attempt, and uh, I hope you're still having fun. I hope you're enjoying this uh, stream. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you for having me again. No and worries. maybe I'll have better luck next time, yeah. Again, Thank better you. luck next time again. Take care. We'll see you later. Thank you very much. No worries. Um, have a good rest of your stream. I will do. Thank you very much. And you too. Take care. <clears throat> uh, to answer your question, Matt, Kotlin is uh, what uh, sort of Google is trying to push uh, for people to develop their Android apps in these days rather than using uh, Java. It, it's, a, it's a sort of language sort of tailored towards uh, those kinds of apps. Not specifically that, I don't think, but certainly they are making a big push for everyone to use Kotlin, for, certainly for Android apps and that kind of thing. Uh, much like with Apple trying to force people to use Objective-C and then now move people onto Swift instead. Uh, right, 11 questions down, 6,000 in the bank for you, Toot, and managing to dodge a bit of a bullet there on that uh, category. And uh, we are now completed with com computer science completely. No more in that category to deal with. Let's move on and go to a new category altogether. Where next? Hi. I think it's worth trying uh, cartoons and comics, please. Cartoons and comics. Here we go. Good luck. First question. What food does the cartoon character Popeye famously eat to increase his strength? Ten seconds. Spinach. Yeah, you don't even need one for that, really, do you? <laughs> it's a bit of an insult yeah. to say ten seconds to say spinach, but uh, hey, yeah. it's the real... I, I went there to see, oh, it's going to be some really obscure <laughs> manga question. It's the, yeah, it's the rules of the game. We have to give you the 10 seconds. There's 1,000 added to your total. 7,000 now in the bank. And we continue on. Um, I think just got to... Oh, God, I just don't want to do a battle in flags thing is the problem. Although I suppose if I go now, it's not so bad. So let's do flags. It's going to be a battle, isn't it? Flags. It's not. It is a regular question. Okay. The question is, the flag of which Australian state depicts a black swan in a yellow disc? 10 seconds. Uh, Queensland, South Australia, uh, Western Australia, uh, the territory. Western Australia is correct. Yes, very well played there. Uh, not on the first bounce. States I was less familiar with. Basically, yeah, just just press a guess, and you managed to do so there. I lived there for a bit as well. Oh, did you? Didn't help. <laughs> Fair enough. Let's keep going on then. Uh, your next pick. Okay, this will be the flags battle. No, it's not. We're finishing flags off oh. entirely with another regular question. What name is given to the cross with an off-center vertical line as seen on the flags of Sweden, Norway, and Iceland, amongst others? 10 seconds. I have completely forgotten what that's called. It's like the cross of something, cross of, cross of the rain, rain cross, and something else. It's a flag thing, anything I think of. Oh, wow. Memory block there for Toot. Salt tire, is that a thing? So the other you're, way around. You're going a bit too, a uh, bit too clever with the answer. I think, think. Of heraldry. No, no, just just think about that whole sort of area in general. It's it's just a Nordic cross or oh. Scandinavian Didn't cross. Think about the countries at all. As well. yeah. Those are the answers you could have given there. Nordic or Scandinavian cross there uh, is the answer there for yeah. They say Sweden, Norway, and Iceland. It's just that general area. Strike back on the board. We need to write that wrong. There are another couple of dings, though, that I've just heard. So let me quickly check again on our donations. The donations say the following have just come through. Oh, God. Uh, we got 
uh, another eight pounds and 82 pence from H Cannon, who says, Whiskers rules. I mean, yeah, she does absolutely rule, absolutely. Uh, the she, she also messes around with the house as well, things like that. I need to give her a lot of fussing uh, once this stream is over, uh, unless she is sleeping, in which case I will let her sleep. Uh, thank you very much for that donation. And of course, save the animals. There we've got a donation from Chris. Thank you very much, Chris. £15 donation there. Uh, saying congratulations on going in the distance. Had to donate uh, when there's an incentive like this on the line. Save the frames. Kill the animals. Thank you very much for the £15 donation there, Chris. Means kill still with the lead on £120. Save on £89.76. Um... I'm half expecting a donation to say greetings from Germany now at this point. I'll be suddenly all full GDQ mode. Um, anyway, Toot, you're still in control. What is your next category pick? I'd like to try Bond themes, please. Bond themes. Question is... With a music video featuring the Eiffel Tower predominantly, which James Bond theme is the only one in to top the US Billboard chart? Ten seconds. A view to a kill? It Day is. Life. Yeah, and very good. One. Very good answer there. Performed by Duran Duran for the 1985 film of the same name. Yes, indeed. Great answer. Clear that strike. Add a thousand to the total. Okay, Chris, long time watcher, first time denoter. Let's kick Hansen's ass. Greetings from Germany. There's that. Um, there's. Uh, what's the name of that website again? But I know there is a website. Oh, is is it Simple Flips? Is the one it was, it was literally about to mention. The one that generates those uh, those uh, sort of nonsensical uh, donation messages in in a simple structure. I absolutely love that. Uh, obviously, those kind of donations don't really make it onto uh, onto broadcast on GDQ anymore. But uh, oh, I still remember those those uh, those wonderful days back then. Uh, let's keep going. Four hundred and nice questions we've seen now tonight of five hundred. Eight thousand in your bank toot. Let's keep going on. The four hundred seventy question. What shall it be? Let's try war. Huh. What is it good for? Absolutely, a triple threat is what it is. So, okay. three question, uh, three answers required for this question. Name the big three World War II Allied leaders who appear in a famous photograph taken at the Yalta Conference in 1945. Ten seconds. Uh, FDR, Stalin, uh, Churchill. Perfect answer. Yes, well done. Great answers there, and in the order I had on my screen, so it makes it even oh, easier for me to mark. Um, so 3,000 added to your total for a completed triple threat as well, up to 11,000 uh, fake dollars in your total. 30 questions left now in this stream, and 16 that you have seen so far yourself too. Let's keep this train going. Uh, let's do the last untouched category and try food translations, please. Food translations. The question is this. The first edition of which food encyclopedia was published by La Ruse in 1938? Ten seconds. Uh, I, I thought it was called La Ruse's. I don't know, you don't know the name of this. Uh, Gastronomique something? Yes. Yeah, yeah, oh. Gastronomique, yeah. No, I thought it was the Russes. I didn't raise it ahead of their name, but I think yeah, that's just In fact, that was your first given answer, so I'm going to reverse the given uh, answer there and say it is correct with a thousand doots on top there, uh, giving you up to 12,000 doots there. Yes. Um, yeah, La Russe Gastronomique, the answer there we're looking for. Nicely done. And we keep on a turning. Question 18, where are we going? Uh, let's try chemistry again, please. We go to chemistry, and that's uh, oh, sorry, no, the answer. This is not Jeopardy. The question <laughs> is this: It was. What property varies directly with temperature according to Charles' law, and inversely with pressure according to Boyle's law? Ten seconds. Volume, temperature. Oh, we said temperature. Great answer. Volume. Yes. Yeah. Boyle's Law and Charles' Law, first stated in the 17th and 18th centuries respectively, are among the fundamental laws that dictate the behaviour of ideal gases. Nicely done there, Toot. I always spend um, some time trying to learn the Hook and Avogadro and all those gas laws and Henry's <laughs> Law. And I always forget them, but well, we can say all the answers, it doesn't really matter as much. Absolutely, oh. indeed. 1,000 extra added, up to 13,000, and keeping going on here. Question 19 for yourself, where next? Let's try potpourri, please. Pope. Yeah, 
Your question is... In Polo, how many legs are touching the playing pitch if all participants are stationary just before the start of a match? 10 seconds. Uh, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 8, 32, 36, 40. Uh, you got there eventually. <laughs> yeah, I just I couldn't remember how to my polo team. Yeah, you, you uh, eventually got there. Nice it was a multiple of four. I so, think with water polo is a problem. I always confuse the number of people on the team. So the little <laughs> trick we add here is that, yes, there are four riders on both teams and they are on horseback. So they don't have their own feet. So you've got four sets of four for the two teams. But there are also two mounted umpires that also will be in play at that point so that's another additional eight legs to count towards it so 10 well, horses standing still a multiple of four i would not have got that yeah 10 horses standing still equals 40 legs on the pitch in total stationary <laughs> at the beginning of the match and there is a third but unmounted umpire who views the match from the sidelines so that is why we came to the total of 40. Well done. Got the number eventually, just from getting ran, getting numbers yep. multiple by four. That's how the game works, and we keep. Oh, it is four questions. Absolutely. Um, let's do cartoons and comics again, please. Cartoons and comics. Question is: On the twelfth of March of nineteen fifty-one, in both the US and UK, what was the identical name of the two different characters who made their comic debuts? Ten seconds. Dennis the Menace. Again, didn't need to give you even one second for that one, really. <laughs> Uh, but Dennis Menace right. is the correct answer and it was a complete coinky dink both creators had no idea about the other or so they say do, 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 do. it's all a conspiracy honestly um, 14,000 dudes now in the bank let's keep going on you've now seen 20 questions yourself we have a total of 26 questions left in the entire game uh, let's do nightmares please hope for more horror film questions Nightmares. What is edentialism, the subject of one of the most common nightmares experienced by humans? 10 seconds. He falling out. Perfect answer, yes. <laughs> Honestly, that's not one that I experience most when I have a nightmare. My, my, one, my one is more to do with uh, like falling from a great height and then I suddenly wake up. <laughs> um, but I don't... I don't get that any generally anymore, but uh, yeah, when I did get nightmares, that would be the one that I'd have. Is it would be the sudden... I always get the studying for a test one, and you forget it happened, and then you go, "What? Mm -hmm. Not been in school for yeah. ten years? Why are you saying that?" What about I'm losing great. on Jeopardy? I mean, that that just already happens anyway, <laughs> Chris, in real life. So I don't need to have that as a, as as a you know living nightmare. I'm living it right True now. Horror. Uh, true horror, yes. 15,000. I mean, whenever you or Orinka are currently, you know, residing on one of the podia, then it's, it's, it's mostly a lost cause until, you know, you get those rare occasions like, yes, I got it. Yes, I got it. <laughs> you sort of pride myself on those moments sometimes. Uh, let's keep answers. going. Uh, um, next category. Try and keep all the categories fairly even. So let's do war again. Uh, war. Question is. A battle near which Crimean town, which names a type of a headgear, provided the setting for the charge of the Light Brigade. Ten seconds. Balaclava. Yeah. Again, didn't need even a single real second for that one. Great answer. Another thousand added to total. Oh, hello. I've just seen a name I remember. Lee! Quarry Stream Game. Hello there. Just want to check with you. Just want to check with you. Because I know that JB said that he definitely did okay it with you. And he definitely did phone you. But obviously I've not actually heard it from the horse's mouth himself. I am okay in doing this thing for 4,000, right? You are definitely, definitely good with me doing this thing. Just, I just want to, you know, just want to check with you. Because it's, it is a bit of a thing. I know that... I know there's the whole thing with Mando. I know there's that whole, whole running joke and st st shitting like that. But um, yeah, he did bring me. Thank you. I just wanted to absolutely make sure above board. I know, not that I don't trust anyone at all, but I just want to make sure. Also, just fight, you know, carry the joke on, honestly, to be honest. Um, but yeah, do you appreciate that? And yeah, I am at this moment now into hour 17 on this stream. So um, yeah, anything can happen right now. I might even be in a nightmare right now. I just don't know it. <laughs> Who knows? Let's keep this train a rolling. I let's keep going. Toots, where next? Uh, food for. I was going to say category uh, amount then. So we're on Jeopardy. That's not how it works. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm tired. 
Food yeah. for 400, please, Alex. Uh, food for 400. All right, well, you'll do that. I'm not going to give you the answer, no, because then you'll be like, how the hell am I going to form the question? Uh, anything can happen very much so, Lee. Very much so. Here we go. Question is, often followed by seco or uh, on salafon. To indicate being dried and salted, uh, bacarel o is the Spanish name for what fish? Ten seconds. Uh, cod, herring. Cod, uh, yeah. Bacarel actually, I should have said probably. My bad on misreading the pronunciation guide. That's literally right there in front of me. Um, Seventeen hours of reading anything is you're going to. You can so. four words is impressive. It, it, kind of in a in a way, yeah. They're, they're sort of cohesive, I hope. Uh, Cod, correct answer on the first bounce. Seventeen thousand. Uh, now in the Jeez. total, yeah, I know. You see, you just said about me <laughs> trying to misform words, and there we are, seventeen thousand in your total. Let's keep I like going. It. It's better than the real one. I don't like numbers, so fake numbers are better. Um, let's do potpourri for, for, for the question, please. For the question, please, yeah. yeah for the question. We're, we're starting to play number wang. That's what we're doing, isn't it? We're just playing number wang. Uh, potpourri, question is this. What group 18 element is used in combination with potassium to create a radiometric dating method for geochronology, geochronology, Jesus Christ, and archaeology? Ten seconds. A polonium. Uh... No, I think you're reading too much into this. The PO is just part, forming part of the question here. PO is standing here. Oh, with potassium. potassium. Uh, yeah, yeah, unfortunately, trying to read too much into the question. These there. are Jeopardy rules of question. <laughs> yeah, we're kind of breaching that here because, well, it's not Jeopardy, let's put it that way. Uh, the answer we're looking for is argon oh, oh, anyway. the answer there okay. so uh, as chris now says you do not read the effing question instead uh it is a wrong on the board that we need to write there are 22 questions left now in the entire game tonight where do you want to go next i think we'll do bomb themes please and i've just read what Chris said as well. It's a terrible joke, and I'm going to regurgitate it because it's terrible. Uh, but yeah, if you get a couple more wrong, then you are gone. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Uh, James Bond themes. Your question is this: the theme for Goldeneye was written by two members of which Irish band? Ten seconds. Oh, you two. They were indeed. Yes. In fact, I completely forgot until I saw that question. <laughs> Clear the strike, add a and thousand to the band. board. Yeah, I, I, yeah. yeah. If it's a Irish band, I would have not got there. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. Irish band, you two go. Uh, 18,000 in the bank. 25 questions you have seen yourself doing very well here, too. Congratulations. Let's keep it going. Just 21 questions left now. It's almost like I'm saying, like a topper stream is starting. <laughs> um, oh my goodness me. It's going to be soon ish, I suppose. Soon, soon uh, yeah. But yeah, 21 questions over on Top of One Gaming, who is definitely sleeping right now. Uh, but when you do catch up on the VOD, if you are doing so, uh, Topper, hello there. We are plugging you again. Hello, Toot. Um, Toot, where are we going? Uh, let's hope Topper's not having any nightmares. Go for that one, please. Let's hope not. Question is. A manifestation of sleep paralysis. Uh, Pisadera, a crone with a long fingernails who lurks on roofs at night, is from which country's folklore? Ten seconds. Uh, Spain, Mexico, uh, Brazil, Romania. Brazil, uh... good guess there, yeah. Uh, she's a dull, uh, tall, skinny, dull, old woman with long, dirty nails in dried toes, white tangled hair, a long nose, staring red eyes and greenish teeth. Good answer there. Not the first bounce, yes. so we well, you just keep pressing guessing. That is part of the game. Yeah. 20 questions left in the game, 26 you have personally seen so far. Can we see? Can you get to the 500th question in this game? Let's find out it. where next. Okay. Um, let's do food translations again, please. Food translations. Question is. Traditional in Ethiopia and Eritrea, and sometimes used in place of cutlery, injera is a form of what food? Ten seconds. Uh, bread. It is, yes. Specifically a flatbread, but ca I can indeed accept bread. Okay. It is made using teff flour. It is a pancake-like sourdough flatbread, covering the base of a plate with the rest of the food placed on top of it. 
Uh, great guess. 1,000 extra to the total. 19 questions left. Where next? Uh, war, please. War again. Question. Which US president authorized the nuclear bomb attacks on Hiroshima and Nagasaki in 1945? 10 seconds. Freeman. FDR. Is correct, yes. Another great answer. Another thousand added to the total. Let's keep it going. 18 left now to the end of the game. Uh, cartoons and comics, please. Cartoons and comics. Question. Who created the animated series The Simpsons and Futurama? 10 seconds. Matt Groening. Absolutely right. Again, didn't need the, f the whole second for that one. Uh, but um, great answer. Another thousand added. 21,000. The total. 17 questions left to go. And Whiskers has made yet another appearance. Hello, Whiskers. Whiskers. Classic Whiskers, oh absolutely. Oh, there he is. Hey, uh, it's nearly four in the morning and Whiskers has decided to say hello once again. I thought you'd be asleep at this point, honestly, Whiskers. I really would. But uh, you uh, clearly I'm making a lot of noise and keeping you up, aren't I? Don't worry. We'll be going to bed shortly. I hope. Um, Toot, where are we going next? I think it's time to uh, chemistry it up again, please. Chemistry it up. And that question is, what food substance is also defined by chemists as a chemical compound consisting of an assembly of cations and anions? 10 seconds. Salt. Salt Oil. is perfect, um, yeah. I've heard the word cation in. Another great answer. Another 1,000 added, 22,000 with 16 questions left now. Where are we going next? You've seen 30 questions yourself. We can keep going. I'm going to try. Uh, potpourri again. Could be anything. Potpourri. So, yeah, as a reminder, the po appears in the question, not necessarily the answer. Yeah. I just, I just missed him. <clears throat> That's fair enough. Reason. Question yeah. is, in which US city was a modified Lincoln Continental used by Pope Paul VI to greet crowds during his one-day visit in 1965? Ten seconds. Uh, New York, Vegas, uh, LA. Yeah, go for all the big hitters. New York, the yeah, correct answer I, I didn't there. Know that. Just, just, well, just, just have an interesting thing happen in it. Just guess a city and you went the right way. Another thousand added to your total. 31 questions you've seen so far. 15 questions left in this game of 500 questions. So Toot, where now? Uh, nightmares, please. Nightmares. The question is, which Mexican <laughs> artist once said, I don't paint dreams or nightmares, I paint my own reality. Hmm, uh, should I press not, this button or should I not? <laughs> if it's that answer, we, then maybe not. Let me keep us in limbo for a little bit longer <laughs> here for the Jeopardy crew to come in here. Ten seconds. <laughs> Frida Kahlo? Yeah, it is Frida if it Kahlo, wasn't, yeah. yeah. If you were to go pick up nothing, Diego Ferrero or something I may else. have been giving away a bit there, Carrington. but Toot knew the answer as soon as it I said which Mexican artist. It would have been my first guess, regardless of what so. the question said. Absolutely, it has to be Frida Kahlo. You say, which okay. Mexican artist? Frida Kahlo, end, <laughs> end of story. Don't even have to continue. <laughs> it is the Frida Kahlo of five hundred questions is Frida Kahlo. And I, whatever. Let's just keep moving on. We have 14 questions left to go. Uh, chemistry, please. Go to back to chemistry. There's another special there. Top 10 challenge. It's been a while since we've invited someone in. We need to do so now, though. Who is it going to be? It is Pop Ramen Comedy. Pop Ramen, please make your way to the green room here in the 17th hour of this stream goodness me with question 14 questions to go until we finish everything proper tonight goodness me i still need to do a tally of all the bloody donations of that don't i oh my uh all my personal uh revenue and that is going to be a thing that is going to be a massive thing when that happens holy shit um the um there was going to be a Duke Lottery at the end of the stream, but freaking hell, we are now coming to four in the morning and beyond that. We're not going to be doing the Duke, lo uh, Duke Lottery thing, uh, Duke Draw at the end of the stream, unfortunately. I'll find some other time to do it when people can attend so that you can make their decisions as to what prize to get. 
uh, try and make it as fair as possible so the people do. We've got an entire week next week that I did have off. I was going to say I was going to be off. I could just turn up on stream, do the dude draw, and then just disappear again. Then we'll just do it that way, something like that. So um, it's, it's a low-pressure week next week for me because I will be off as it is the end of season, and we will be doing the dude draw, certainly at some point. I was hoping it ended this stream, but yeah, we this stream is just gone on and on and on. And Pop Ramen... You're back in here. Hello again. Yep. Hi, it's my third time on voice chat. <laughs> Indeed it is. So welcome back again, again. Um, so here at a top 10 situation. Now, this is, this is the, the wow. We really are struggling with words now, right now. Um, Toot gets to decide whether Toot's going to play the question or you're going to play the question. So it's a top 10 challenge. Toot, what do you want to do? Do you want to play it or do you want to let Pop Ramen play it? I think they'll probably get it, but I also don't want to do a chemistry question, so I'll pass it. You're going to pass it. Okay. So, Pop Robin, to stay on the stage here and to give Toot a strike if you are successful, you need five right in 15 seconds on this question. Good luck. Name five of the ten most abundant elements and compounds in the Earth's atmosphere. This is according to data collected by NASA. 15 seconds. Hydrogen, helium, nitrogen, carbon. Um... Uh, aluminum, uh, hydrogen, helium, neon, argon, silicone. Um. Now, I may have mis made a mistake on one of them, actually. Silicone? Uh, okay. But I may have also missed one earlier as well. Um, so, I am in a complete mess right now. Um, because you just gave me loads of answers all in one go and my brain has decided <laughs> no I don't want to judge any single one of them right now um, so I'm sorry do I have anybody still on hand to help me on this one or shall I go and re uh, replay the video myself just so I can catch it because holy shit that was uh, that was a flurry of answers let me put that there um, I came prepared <laughs> I mean ox ox oxygen is a correct answer but I haven't marked oxygen as one of the answers he gave me. But also, <laughs> he did say carbon, which is a wrong answer, but he should have said carbon dioxide, which I marked as correct. So there's a swing and a miss there. So if he did say oxygen that I missed, then that's fine, because then we just swap those answers around and we can pretend that nothing went wrong. Oxygen is the first thing that I said. It was or the first thing you said. Well, yeah. if, that, you know what, if that's the case, then everything else is good. Um, yeah, I'm not going to go any further with that. Yeah, oxygen is fine. Uh, and if you say that you did so, then that's fine. My books, we're at the end of the stream. I don't bloody care about any more sorts of kind <laughs> I of. I did a know. thing. You did a thing. Congratulations. Wow. Yeah. My brain just went, no, I don't. I just would have shut down and not mark anything. Um, I'm just hoping there's no more top tens anymore then, just so I can, you know, get through the rest of the stream. Uh, but for now, Pop Ramen, you are safe there. You can stay where you are on the sideline. Uh, yeah, the other options there were carbon dioxide water. is the one I incorrectly marked. Water, your water vapor, krypton, methane, and argon are the ones that you may have also said some of those, but um, I just, yeah, I was, um, my brain decided no. Apparently doing a U there, Toots, where he's saying no or not. Um, one strike on the board for Toots, though. Pop Roman Comedy gets to uh, take a little break there. And Toot needs to clear that strike. 13 questions left. Where do you want to go? I mean, this is the time for classic novels and hope it's uh, generous. Let's see. Question is this. The word Yahoo originated as the name of one of the many fictitious peoples encountered by which titular character in a 1726 novel? 10 seconds. Uh, Lemuel Gulliver. Perfect answer. Perfect answer there. And just like that, we clear the strike at another 1,025,000 <laughs> now in the bank. And just like that, 34 questions seen, 12 left to go in the game. Where next, Toot? Uh, food translations, please. Food translations? Penultimate one in this. Your question's this. If you ordered chai slimmer nom in a Russian cafe, what drink would you expect to receive? 10 seconds. Tea, coffee, water, wine. Tea is perfectly fine there, yeah. Specifically lemon tea, uh, but uh, tea we have allowed as an accepted answer there. I got it from chai, I just don't know why I went there, for, even though it's probably not a chai tea. 
just know the word. Absolutely, chai is, is used uh, commonly uh, in quite a few languages to mean just chai. Char is it, so. as well. Can, yeah, so. indeed. Um, so, thousand added for that answer. Congratulations. 11 questions left now. You are on 35 questions yourself. Let's keep going. Uh, let's do war again. War. Question there. Name for a US state. What is the only surviving battleship to serve in both World Wars and the first US ship to launch a plane? 10 seconds. Uh, Missouri, Arizona, uh, Hawaii, oh, Arkansas. Oh, what's the other one? I always get these wrong. Oh, God. I always get these wrong. Wow. The, the, the ships that, that were states. Mm. The one that sunk in Pearl Harbor is the one that they signed the treaty on. Every time I get them wrong. Strike on the board. Uh, Pop Ramen, you have any idea? He would have made all of the guesses that I probably would have made, except with the exception of maybe Maine. It's not Maine, but, no. Yeah. Maine, Spanish, New York. We could be here all day. We could, uh, we've already been here a day and a half. Yeah. Twitch chat say Iowa, no. Nevada, no. Louisiana, no. Missouri, no. Maryland, okay. no. A tough Everybody one. stumped there. Texas is the answer we're looking for. I've USS never heard this. No. Texas. Okay. Well, seems to have stopped stage literally everybody there. I, I think it was one of the first we've ever seen in the entirety of five hundred questions is a stumper that no one got. Strike on the board. We need to clear it. Only ten questions remain. And the first three in that category were so nice as well. Um, this this do Bond themes. Bond themes. The question there is this. Which is the only artist to appear in the opening titles of a James Bond movie? Ten seconds. Shirley Bassey, Tom Jones, Madonna. Uh, God, who else is it? Travis Knight, Chris Cornell, Adele, Steve Turner. No! It's another wrong answer for Toot. Means we are going to a second strike on the board. Did we in chat know the answer to that one there? Uh, Nato with Sam Smith. No, Tandry with Manson. No, Hologrow has got it, though. We were looking for Sheena Easton. Oh, I did not remember her being in that at all. The song was written for the movie For Your Eyes Only, released in 81. That song, yeah. Yeah, Sheena Easton, the correct answer there. And uh, we're a rare slip here. Toot on two strikes. Pop Ramen. Now... Yeah. It's your time to strike. With just nine questions left in the entire game, you could disrupt Toot's flow to get through to the 500th question of this stream if you pick correctly here and eliminate him on the question. Which category is it? It is going to be... Pause for dramatic effect. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Chemistry. I'm not shocked. Chemistry is what we're going into. Toot, you need to give me a correct answer to stay in the game. The correct, uh, the question is this. What four letter word appears at the start of the common name for methanal and at the end of the common name for trichloromethane? 10 seconds. Hide. Uh, ain, own, on, zone, uh, acid, uh, Okay. No, that is the third strike in a row. Yeah. Now you Not did much. get the one of the words you had hide, but that was the wrong position for the wrong word. Um, We're looking at the beginning of that word and the ending oh, of the other. Yes, mm -hmm. it is formaldehyde mm -hmm. and chloroform were the two. Didn't get chlor didn't get chloroform. Oh, toot. That does mean, at this very, very late stage, three wrong in a row. And that does mean, Toots, you are like that. Wow. Well, wow, I did not expect that to happen, but that is uh, how the game goes. And yeah, I mean, lack of sleep does anything, because crazy things to people, honestly. Um... Thank you very much, though, for tuning in and joining in at such a late point in the stream, though, too. Do oh, greatly appreciate that. It's fun. And... Yeah, I feel bad if I didn't take part, even if it ended a bit disastrously there. Absolutely. Uh, thank you very much for that. Uh, hope you had a great uh, load of fun as well. Yep. 
Till they're three, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Till those three. Uh, until they take care. Have a great rest of this day and evening and tomorrow. Whatever yeah. the fuck is going on right now. Absolutely. <laughs> and uh, we'll see you later too. Take care. Bye. Not sure if the topic is coming through. <laughs>
Let's keep this going. There's only a few questions left on the board. Hello there, Toad. How you doing? I'm still going somehow. And yeah, there is a donation incentive that um, somehow got okayed by Lee. At £4,000, if we manage to get there, then Lee has agreed to allow me to host an episode of Quarren Stream, the game show, which is just crazy to even suggest. I haven't even put in my money yet from any of my bits and subs, so that's still to go in as well. And another donation has just come through. I've just heard the dingo. What the hell's going on? Dylan with a £10 donation. Thanks for the brief opportunity to play along for once. Love the streams. Hoping to catch some more live going forward. And you went for kill the animals. Goodness me. Does that mean... No, kill is still behind by about £11 on the poll right now. Uh, we are at £3,556 raised so far. Oh my goodness me. Uh, one thing you may want to be aware of, Toad, I don't know if there are still enough of them around, but there is also an incentive for some dual poker chip sets, if that does intrigue you. Uh, £40 if you do want to donate that, and you can get yourself a set of poker chips in the style of dual, that if once I've actually got the manufactured, let's put it that way. Um, Pop Roman, back to you, another category pick, there's only seven questions left. Try word, please. Uh, war. War. Yeah. Here we go. Question is this. Which World War I battle fought in northern France between July and November 1916 saw the first use of tanks? Ten seconds. Normandy, Le Mans, um, Paris, um, let's see, um, yeah. Unlucky there. Some good guesses, some sort of French answers there, but not the one we were looking for. Strike on the board. The answer is the Somme. Battle of the Somme or Battle of Flair Corselette, which is that's the particular engagement where the uh, the tanks were actually used. The Somme was the general answer. Sorry, I had to uh, mute that uh, text to speech alert there, but uh, we were just playing straight into a question and I didn't want to get distracted too much. Thank you for the 420 pits, though. Um, Hirsch, do appreciate that. And also, there was another ding that came through. Um, that ding belongs to the following person. It belongs to JB with another £1.23 saying that he wishes to vote to shave the animals. I'm afraid that's not an option on the board here, JB, but uh, thank you for the £1.23 for trying to shave the animals. Um, Papa Roman Comedy, strike on the board. Two questions seen, but there's only a few questions left on the board. Only six left. Where now? Cartoons and comics, please. Cartoons and comics. Oh my god, it's another top ten. I didn't even realise there was another one. Goodness me, we've got to pick somebody else. Let's take the sideline. Can my brain take one more judgment whack? Curtis, you have been picked here. Theory of game. Get yourself into the... Goodness me, you're already in the green room. That's uh, that's how fast you are. Um, let's just drag you straight into the... That's an air half. Hello there, Theory. Hello, hello. Let me... Oh, my me God. We're back here audio. again. Oops. Okay, there we go. Oh, you got it sorted. <laughs> Beautiful. Yep, <laughs> well, welcome once again back to the studio for one final chance here. Pop Ramen, though, is the one in control, and we'll decide whether uh, he's going to play or you're going to play. So, this top 10 challenge, Pop Ramen, are you playing? Are you letting Theory play? As much as I think that this is a bad idea, I'm going to pass. You're going to pass it to let Theory play. All right, so Theory... You need to give me five correct answers in 15 seconds here in this uh, Cartoons and Comics, I believe it is the topic. Here we go. The question is, name five of the ten Disney Renaissance films that were released between 1989 and 1999 inclusive. 15 seconds. Oh, God. Uh, uh, Robin Hood. Um, uh... I am blanking completely. 101 Dalmatians. Um, the the. I'm done. Nope. <laughs> I can't even think of any. I worked at Disney. I can't think of any. Oh Disney my movies right goodness now. me! <laughs> yeah. Robin Hood dodged such a bullet. Robin Hood was a bit earlier on than the 89 yeah. to 99 yeah, yeah. window there. Um, well, I guess again, pressure of the game gets you there, yeah. and um, just like that. 
thousand that is the total three questions seen for prop run recovery on this pass and five questions left in the game let's have a look at the answers Little Mermaid Rescuers yep. Down Under, yeah. Beauty and the Beast, Aladdin, The Lion King, Pocahontas, The Hunchback of Notre Dame, Hercules, Mulan, and Tarzan were all the answers. That is in chronological order from 89 through to 99. Ah, uh, Curtis was a very quick visit once uh, again, but yep. you have been here pretty much throughout the entirety, which is just, just phenomenal support. Thank you very much mm -hmm. for hanging in, in there uh, alongside uh, just... and. Um, Thank you again for, for tuning in and dro dropping by as another contestant. And thank you, Ash, and give your voice a rest tomorrow, man. <laughs> oh hell yes, I will do. It's gonna thank be you for the, it's gonna be the strangest, deepest voice you'll ever hear tomorrow <laughs> when it comes to around it. Whiskers would be like, "Who the hell is this?" Um, but uh, thank you very much uh, for playing theory. We'll see you later. Take care. Yep. Thank you. Bye. Five questions left. Pop ramen. Where do you want to go? Sadly, I'm starting to believe now. Um, <laughs> let's try. Let's try classic novels. Classic novels finish that category off. The question is said to be the world's first novel. The 11th century Japanese epic accredited to Murasaki Shikibu is known as the tale of who? Genji. Genji's correct. Yes. yes. Great answer there, Pot Ramen. Thousand added to your total. Four hundred ninety-six questions seen. Four left now in Talk the game. Can't succeed at this game. <laughs> Where next? Uh, uh, let's do food translations. Oh, we still have one of these left. We've got a battle to play. Let's bring somebody else in here. With four questions to the left to go. And we bring in JB. <laughs> Don't fuck nope. it up, JB! Don't <laughs> This fuck is gonna be up. the sassiest battle that we're ever gonna have. <laughs> oh my god! This game does not let up whatsoever. Absolutely no chill in the RNG. My god. If I had some way of influencing the RNG, I would never have influenced it to be this fucking sassy. My God. Uh, we did have another donation there from Toot, £11.50, uh, with, a, with a donation of, we'll Crap. never look at formaldehyde the same way again. Congrats on taking it through to the end. Thank you very much, Toot, for the £11.50 donation. And your contribution there is to kill the animals and holy crap look how close that pole is now it's just eight pence in it kill is ahead on 141 pounds and 50 save is on 141 oh no not, what the hell i cannot look at numbers properly anymore folks i'm literally making numbers up as we see it's within a pound it's not within eight pence though but it's in within a pound texas with a dollar sign Need to check my freaking eyes now, don't I? Um, JB, welcome to the studio. So our first contestant here is Ash. Uh, Ash <laughs> says here. Oh, oh wait, that hasn't started yet. Oops. No, it's not started yet. We are gonna roll into it as soon as this is finished, though. Holy shit! Oh my god, I, I was do... like, oh cool, I'm about to leave. I do apologize <laughs> that we no, have delayed this so far. My this god. Is... <laughs> First of all, first of all, I will delay anything if we're raising money for a good cause, bar oh none. Oh my god. Um, I've been up since the beginning of this stream. I've been up since 4 a.m. my time, and I've had nothing but a blast. And, uh, yeah, Pop Ramen, let's shut this shit down. Absolutely. Right, let's get into this battle. Pop Ramen, are you leading or following? A category anymore is it food translations food translations it is yes okay just want to make sure i'll follow you gotta follow all right so jb you are answering first oh my god there's quite a bit of text to read here so uh, let's get through this i mm. believe in you name the top 30 most popular italian pasta varieties in the world according to tasteatlas.com note that we require the italian name and not an english description of the shape additional note the 30 items on this list actually go as far down as number 31 in the article this is because number seven on the list just happens to be couscous which is classified there as a pasta as it is made of flour semolina and water 
water as with most regular pastas. However, as there is much contention, 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 oh my god, as to whether this designation is correct, we have decided to leave it off the list because of the clause of Italian origin has been added to cover this. JB, you are answering first. Five seconds. Spaghetti. Yeah. Macaroni. Yeah. Rotini. Yeah. Linguini. Yeah. Ravioli. Yeah. Burfale. Yeah. Vermicelli. Yep. Raviolo. Ooh, trying to go for a little tricksy one there. But I'm afraid a raviolo, I think, is a singular ravioli. I'm afraid is a wrong answer since we've already had a ravioli. And that is the end of that battle there. Unlucky there, pop ramen comedy. Um, let's have a look to see some of the other answers that we could have had. We had uh, Ditalini Tortelloni, uh, Oriecchiette, uh, Consciously, Fusili, also Cannelloni, Fettuccini, Tagliatelli, Gnocchi, Penne, Lasagna. It was also up there as well. That is a pasta variety. Um, nobody wants lasagna. Nobody wants lasagna at this time of day, apparently, apart from maybe Garfield. Um, let's keep going on. There is a strike on the board for you, Pup Ramen. And we do have a total of three questions left in the game jb you can have a quick sit for a little bit we may require you in the next three questions let's find out uh pop ramen if you get the next question right then you get to see the 500th question tonight so no pressure i'm hoping cartoons and comics is safe i'll go with that to finish the category off, cartoons and comics, the uh, question is this. In 1986, Alan Moore released the first issue of which acclaimed graphic novel that was later adapted into a 2009 movie? Ten seconds. Watchmen. What a wonderful ding sound that is indeed. A great answer there. Another thousand added to your total and you will face the 500th question. Congratulations there, Pop never Ramen. Go. Thought it would never come, but here it is. So, penultimate question. Nightmares or potpourri? What would you go for? Let's try nightmares. Nightmares. Because that'll be me in 2023. Oh, goodness me. Here we go. Nightmares question is this. Windsor McKay's McComic strip, Dream of the Rarebit Fiend, was an early representation of the idea that which food causes nightmares? Ten seconds. Well, it's rarebit, um, beef, stew... Um, porridge, custard, um, pizza, lasagna. <laughs> Afraid not, no. Strike on the board. Uh, JB, happen to know? Uh, uh no, but this burger is looking really good. Mmm, tasty. Cheese is the answer. Welsh rabbit is, uh, has cheese on its rabbit. So, it is a strike on the board. And as we roll into the 500th question, Jay, Just a quick David, thanks to all the question writers for their contributions. And a special shout out to Score for organizing it all. Absolutely, David. Jay Bodicum, I can, I, I can, I agree with that sentiment entirely if I could form words. Thank you very much for the 18 month resub. And yes, a massive thanks to every single question writer that has contributed in some form or to another to this episode of 500 questions. And also to the question proofing team who's done a mammoth task to get this to where we are today. Um, score, particularly for organizing all of this as well, making sure that we could actually get here on time. The TV show was never, able, never able to achieve 500 questions. And yet we're now about to finish a second edition of a complete 500 questions. Yes, a total of a thousand questions we have done so far, which is so much better than what the game show has ever done. And we've also proven that someone can indeed complete 500 questions themselves as well. We have done everything the game show initially set out 
were never even gonna happen because they just set it up as an impossibility due to their own constraints. We came here, did it online, did it our way, did it better, and achieved all of the aims that were set out by the original idea of 500 questions. And it's oh, all yeah. of you that have been able to do it. So thank you to every single one of you for making Quiz Night happen, for making this entire thing happen. As we roll into question, I say 500, really, I should be saying this is question 1000, which is potpourri. Pop Ramen, let's do this. The 1,000th question is this. Named after a famous circumnavigation ship, which of the NASA Orbiter Fleet Space Shuttles produced space potatoes on a 1995 mission? 10 seconds. Discovery, Atlantis, um, Columbia. Columbia is ah, correct. There hey. we go. That is what we wanted to see. A correct answer on the 1,000th question of this system. Not a cliffhanger. Clear that strike. We don't get any extra bonus for that answer because it was not on the first bounce. But 500 or 500 in this edition, 500 or 500 in the previous edition, a completed personal 500 with Lucario, 1,000 questions all told, all written by the community, all proofed by the community, all played by the community. Thank you for this amazing, amazing achievement you've all been able to do here. Pop Ramen, you can retire as our current incumbent champion. And if we were ever to do questions 1001 to 1500, then you would be the first to invite back again. But I have no bloody idea when 500 questions part three is ever going to come around. So um, I set my alarm for 6:45 local time in like 2023. You do that. now. Go to bed, Dash. Now go to bed, Ash says Luger. Oh my god, and all the more bits and things coming in. Oh my god, hype train. Hype train is just triggered. Thank you so much, Ash. It does. What a great stream. Oh, Seventeen hours. Me. An amazing feat of endurance. Well, well, you Same for time, time next week. Oh, well, I stole time. oh my goodness me, a hype train. Another hype train. This is the third hype train of this stream. Uh, alongside all of the amazing Vamp donations. a little bit. Um, um, well, the thing is, this is the point of the stream where it's now the end, where I need to figure out how much I need to be paying right now. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, if you do want to just waffle for a little bit while I do some um, back of the napkin kind of calculations as I look on the, the Twitch analytics page to figure out how much I am paying out here. Hey, Ash, you're getting sleepy. Maybe you can go first. Oh, okay. Hey, I stumbled upon this community randomly in 2019 and... Was I, I just caught it on a sick day from work, and I'm like, oh, cool, game shows. Uh, I didn't know a year later with the pandemic that uh, I, I would know more people involved in the community uh, who, who joined my own. Um, and um, while I, I have my own things and I, I do promote my own things, I often find myself uh, in the Discord server uh, for this community. Uh, because there's, it's just a great, unique place to interact and play games with people all over the world from all walks of life, and uh, you know, it would I, I I would love if we all got together, threw back a few beers, and and played games and just had a good time, uh, and and hopefully with this pandemic becoming endemic, that's something we can do, but. Uh, the real importance of community has shown brightly tonight. Uh, we've seen, uh, you know, almost 4,000 pounds raised for charity. <coughs> uh, <coughs> Excuse me. Which I'm about to do some crazy shit to that amount in a moment. I'm about to say, holy crap, but continue on while I try to find the extra bits I need to pay here. <laughs> yeah, uh, I was. My, I guess my body was trying to cough up more money to donate. But, uh, <laughs> anyways, uh, the point is, is you know, you get a real sense of of just an overall community, not just this community, but all over the quizzing fandom. Whether you like your American shows, your British shows, your Aussie shows, or wherever you may be around the world, uh, games and trivia have brought us all together, and they brought us together to do amazing things. Like you've seen tonight, you've seen Ash 
troop now for 17 goddamn fiscal hours uh, uh doing this going crazy. through technical issues watching lucario hit 500 uh watching us get to 500 questions we've seen so many roller coaster rides so many stories uh whether somebody struck out on three questions or has gone all the way uh every single run has been fun every single run has been exciting and it's just a, a credit to this community uh whether it's a content producer like ash or you who may be here for the very first time. Uh, it's it's incredibly appreciated. For the bottom of my heart, Ash, I love you. I love this community. Uh, Congratulations. I love you back as well. Oh my God, JB. Thank you for all of those kind words. I'm just trying to process everything you're saying, but also doing this math is... It's, it's bloody scary, honestly, what I'm about to do here <laughs> right now. Um, I still need to do a bit more math. Pop Ram, do you want to say anything Ooh. while you're here? Absolutely. I mean, um, just to go back to a previous conversation from, what, three hours ago? I joined because another game show community that um, I'm part of, smaller, much smaller one, uh, showed one of the 1 vs. 100 uh, videos, and that's what initially caught my eye, and then when the pandemic happened and I got to work from home, because normally I work in a call center during American business hours, um, I was finally able to catch streams for real. Um, that's also why I'm normally not playing, because I work in a call center during American business hours. But um, <laughs> So I apologize for working, for lurking mostly, but um, yeah, I'm just some random dude who does game shows at conventions for the past like 12 years and stuff like that. And I've got to say, this this is legitimately one of the most inclusive uh, communities that I've seen. Granted, I'm not that big on the socials, um, but it's almost literally anyone who is anyone is here and is welcome. Um, all shapes, sizes, sorts, and any other adjective you would like to use seems to be here, and that's incredibly awesome, um, considering some of the communities and how they tend to appear on like social media and stuff. It's like, yeah, um, it is a welcoming place. Um, not only do is there all sorts of stuff that goes on at all hours of the day, JB has a cat who will also put it on camera from time to time. <laughs> so hang out with him and see his Definitely. cat. And, and it's, a, um, it's a wonderful group of people. You all are all doing your own individual things. And uh, I, I'm, I'm truly honored honestly that you all come towards my place in this little world to have a little fun and uh, just get together and just do this crazy quiz stuff that we do or whatever you end up doing in the discord as well just having fun chilling out with people having a bit of a chit chat doing a watch along um playing along vs the mall whatever it happens to be it's absolutely amazing that you decide to spend it over on my side in the world I never thought that would ever be the case. Like three plus years when I first started this, I never thought that'd be the case. But thank you. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. Absolutely from the bottom of my heart for all of you for doing what you've done here. And well, holy shit. Let's go to the donate page. Let's do the biggest damage I have ever seen from this charity type thing. I mean, it was a team effort, but it's, I blame Casvest a lot. <laughs> I mean, we can blame Casvest a lot, indeed. Blame air quotes. Let's press that button. Let's go to PayPal. I'm going to have to do an authorization right live on stream. So uh, let's quickly do that. Let's get the two factor up. All practice good security out there, folks. You know, we don't want to get people doxxed or anything. Um, and while, I was going to say, while Ash is doing that, if you like what you saw here, uh, every, uh, as score count was saying, every uh, Wednesday and Friday, uh, well, you're on, Ash is good, about to be on break and a much deserved one, but uh, probably hell yeah. Wednesdays, Wednesdays and Fridays, right here, uh, you could catch some of the most fun, uh, fun games that you'll have, uh, whether they're good hard quizzes like fifteen to one or 
uh, dozens of people screaming at their computers and outright. Here it comes. Um, but uh, drum roll, please, chat. There it is. Jesus. Holy Six hundred and ninety-five pounds and eight pence all converted. Nice. Holy fucking shit, guys. Honestly. That is unbelievable. The amount that you contributed to me in subs and bits over the past two weeks. That's the amount that I get according to Twitch, uh, plus all the extra donations that you uh, were directly donating to me as well over the past two weeks as well. You absolutely rock. We absolutely smashed that final target as well. I, honestly, I don't even know what the target is. I can't even see it. I'm just that messed up right now. Just from the sheer amount that you, you've you been so generous this, this time. 4,369. We've got a nice in there at the end. And 27 pence. I cannot believe we managed to do that. Four thousand pounds to mind. They are absolutely going to flip their minds when they find out that. No, no pun, pun intended. intended at all. No. <laughs> oh my god, my brain is not clever enough to intend puns at this point in time. <sighs> I'm actually shaking, actually shaking at this point right now. Thank you very much for all of the. The sheer generosity from everybody, and another donation has just come through here with Hirsch, with a thirty-pound donation to raise it up to a nice even forty-four hundred pounds. Thank you, Hirsch, for that donation with no comments, no association or anything. <sighs> You're awesome, absolutely fucking awesome. <sighs> And don't ask about a five thousand pound stretch goal right now. <laughs> We're not going any further. Two thousand was a reasonable estimate to go for. Three thousand and a push. Four thousand. Never thought that would happen, and yet, well, here we are, into the eighteenth hour of this stream, and we have managed to do the seemingly impossible in this little corner of the internet. We have raised £4,400 for the mental health charity to go to here in the UK, Mind. They are going to help so many people out with that. Thank you for the superb generosity from all of you. Thank you for staying up until this point in the stream as well. I'm amazed there's even 97 viewers right now still hang hanging on, still continuing on through to the end of this stream and of course Leek ruins it all by going with a hundred pound and 69 pence on the end there bringing the nice back raising it up to 4,569 pence nice grab your hand sanitizer and mask up by the cup because you're hosting quarter stream whatever it's called doot and also claiming one of the dual poker chip sets as well. We saw sending that out your way there, Lee. And also you've put that towards save the animals. So ultimately at the end, congratulations. I think we have indeed saved the animals. Wow. Um, save the mind, say, save the animals. I was gonna say pop ramen. Uh, I think I think we should hop out let, here and let Ash have the floor and close this Thank you. beast of the stream Appreciate out. Appreciate that. Thank you very much, JB. Do go and uh, warm your stream up ready, and I'm going to send this mammoth crew over there to enjoy some Wheel After Dark while I go and probably try and sleep. I know I'm not going to be you able to warm. for the next few hours, but um, right. either way, I'll probably be watching. So take care, JB. Thank you very much again for your sheer generosity and the kind words. Pop Ramen, the same here. When we do do a thousand questions uh, a thousand questions yes we're gonna do that no uh 500 questions next time round. both of you are technically invited back because you do have those seats to play with uh but i have no idea when that's going to happen so if it does right. then you do have the first priority take care and we'll see you Con both later congratulations again love you buddy love get you some too. fucking sleep take care oh goodness me and here we are Finally at the end of the second edition of 500 questions. Thank you very much for everybody 
for tuning in, playing along, donating, chatting, talking amongst yourselves in the Discord, getting the word out on social media, enjoying in the praises there, with five, the Lucario completing the five new questions, something seemingly impossible and yet somehow probable. That seems to be a running theme here for season eight. We had Samster do the impossible, managing to complete round seven and a cash out in the thousand heartbeats this season. We also had Derek unlock the vault very recently as well, get over 1.8 million dudes in their own virtual balance on that. There have been so many highs, so many impossible moments in quizzing this season. <sighs> If I had any bloody time, I would have had a bloody montage ready for this because there have been so many amazing moments. But unfortunately, I do not have a montage this time around because we were just that far stretched. We were getting, making sure that the questions were ready on time. And also BC's lottery madness as well with the two winning line predictions back to back at a perfect six with the jackpot wheel spin on top of that in one stream. Somehow, Season 8 has been the season of impossibilities made possible. Season 9, I have no idea what we've got in store for you as we go into Season 9. Take care out there. God bless. It's something I would normally not say, but honestly, do God bless out there. Take care. I'm going to see you later. I'm going to take a break, take a week off for streaming. I'll still be floating around in the Discord. My voice, I have no idea where it is. Until next time, I have been Ash the Bash. This is Quiz Night, and you have been playing 500 Questions. Good night.